The views and opinions of the hosts and guests are their own and do not necessarily reflect the position of the management and staff of Guardian Network. Great news for Devin Charlton, Bob a Power Company, and GBPA, claiming that the Port Authority is the sole regulator for the port area, dismissing the government's assertion that IRCA is a regulator for GBPC, and BPL working to bring 60 megawatts of generation capacity to Eleuthera. That's all straight ahead this morning on this special edition of Morning Blend, coming to you live from Rawson and Parliament Square for the Bahamas Gumbe Summer Festival. Wake up, it's a new day. Wake up, it's a new day. It's the start of the start of a new way. Good morning again, Bahamas. It is Friday, August 9th, 2024. This is Morning Blend on Guardian Radio 96.9. Again, I'm Dwight Strawn. In a moment, the Quest of Dean is going to be joining us. As we said, it's a special edition of the show. We're coming to you live outside the studio. We're in Rawson and Parliament Square. Bahamas Gumbe Summer Festival is back here in downtown Nassau today. We've got all the details about what you can expect today. And we'll tell you about the traffic diversions that have already started. If you're in the downtown area or coming this way, you need to know about that. We've got everything you need to know this morning. So stay tuned for that. That's all ahead. But first, it's time for the overnight, the latest breaking news from while we're sleeping, and the top national and international headlines this morning. In the overnight, the Grand Island Port Authority shooting back at the Davis administration and IRCA, the Utilities Regulation and Competition Authority, asserting that it is the sole licensor and regulator for all utilities in Freeport, Grand Bahama. It's an assertion the government and IRCA say is wrong. Earlier this week, Grand Bahama Power Company announced that it submitted an application to Grand Palmer Port Authority, GBPA, for a 6.3% increase in the base rate for electricity. The government said that application should have been submitted to IRCA, the sole regulator for the electricity sector in the country. Further, it said it does not support an increase in electricity rates in uh, Freeport at this time. But the Port Authority saying, quote, as is well known, the GBPA has extensive rights under the Hawksville Creek Agreement to regulate the port area. GBPA maintains that by virtue of the powers vested in it by the HCA, the Hawksville Creek Agreement, it has always been and still is the sole exclusive licensor and regulator for all utilities in the port area. It does so in relation to the electrical supply with GBPC. Now, the uh, GBPA saying that the elect the 2015 Electricity Act, which has now been replaced by the 2024 Electricity Act, which purported to give IRCA the legal right to license and oversee energy providers in the entire Bahamas, including the port area, it says that that is inconsistent and that it conflicts with the rights and privileges vested in the Port Authority under the HCA, and that there is currently an action in the Supreme Court regarding the rights of the Port Authority under the HCA. The Port Authority says it has yet to approve any increase in the uh, electricity rate, though, acknowledging that these requests will have varying impacts on each customer class. A statement from the Port Authority saying, quote, we will conduct a comprehensive review as well as engage with key stakeholders during a 45-day consultation period to thoroughly understand the proposed impact before a final decision is made on December 1st. BPL is uh, saying that uh, Electri Eleuthera will receive an additional 60 megawatts of generation capacity by the end of next month. Chief Operations Officer Tony Seymour apologizing for the ongoing challenges 
The island has seen and says they are as a result of increasing load demands and a series of unforeseen challenges. Speaking during a press conference at the office of the Prime Minister yesterday, Seymour says that in terms of short-term solutions, they plan to install an additional 5 megawatts of generation at their Rock Sound power station to increase reliability of what is considered to be an aging plant, 6 megawatts of rental generation at the Hatchet Bay power station, and that they are upgrading the subsea cable between mainland Eleuthera and Harbour Island to ensure that BPL is able to adequately meet the growing demand on Harbour Island. The body of a missing American pilot and his wrecked plane found in a marshy area about five miles away from Leonard Thompson International Airport in Abaco. A search for the pilot, Kentucky native Christopher Moore, began on Sunday after his plane went missing. Police initially said a pilot operating a white, red, and blue striped two-seater aircraft took off from Sebastian, Florida around 9 a.m. on August 4th, but failed to meet his intended destination of Marsh Harbor. The plane's last known location was north of Grand Bahama shortly before 11 a.m. that day. The Defense Force and the U.S. Coast Guard began a joint search effort to locate the missing aircraft. However, Moore's family took to social media to solicit additional help to locate their missing loved one. Police say they received reports around noon yesterday of a potential sighting of a wrecked plane about five miles from the airport in Marsh Harbor. A 36-year-old man remanded to prison after he was charged with indecently assaulting a three-year-old girl. Prosecutors have accused Alex Roll of inappropriately touching the child between July 1st and July 30th. Roll wasn't required to enter a plea when he made his first court appearance before Magistrate Anishka Penerman Isaacs. The matter is adjourned to November 6th for the presentation of a voluntary bill of indictment. And a Bahamian man who's wanted in Florida for human smuggling, requesting time to hire an American lawyer. Vandrick Smith appeared before Chief Magistrate Roberto Reckley yesterday for a status hearing for his extradition hearing. Federal prosecutors allege that Smith was involved in three maritime human smuggling events that occurred on or about March 6, 2021, January 22, 2022, and August 8, 2022. No evidence has been heard in the extradition hearing as his Bahamian lawyer has been seeking to negotiate his surrender. And the cost of the construction of a new hurricane shelter in Abaco, which was initially pegged at $1.8 million, has more than doubled. That's according to Disaster Risk Management Authority Managing Director Aaron Sargent. The cost of the shelter is about $4.5 million now, apparently inclusive of all of the relative char change orders. And those changes coming because of the initial design built on cavernous land. The shelter is located in Central Pines. is designed to house about 200 people during a hurricane. The Minnesota administration broke ground on the building on December, in December 2020 with an expected completion date of May 2021, but three years later, Sargent says it's still months away from completion. Overseas, a third teenager has been arrested in connection with a foiled attack on now cancelled Taylor Swift call. Austrian interior minister saying that an 18 year old was taken into custody Thursday evening in Vienna after allegedly being in contact with the main suspect. The uh, minister announcing the arrest during an unrelated news conference today. Investigators are scrutinizing the networks of the suspects, adding that investigators have turned to evaluating physical and electronic evidence. The 19-year-old main suspect and a 17-year-old were arrested Tuesday, while a 15-year-old was also interrogated but was not arrested. None of their names were released in line with Austrian privacy rules. Officials saying Thursday afternoon that no additional suspects were being sought. They did not immediately offer further details today. And from Venezuela, President Nicolas Maduro says he's ordered a 10-day block on access to X, formerly known as Twitter, in Venezuela, accusing the owner, Elon Musk, of using the social network to promote hatred after the country's disputed presidential election. 
Associated Press journalists in Caracas found that by Thursday night, posts had stopped loading on X on two private telephone services and on state-owned Movilnet. Maduro alleging that Musk, quote, has incited hatred. Maduro saying in a speech following a march by pro-government pro, pro groups, quote, Elon Musk is the owner of X and has violated all the rules of the social network itself. Maduro also accusing the network of being used by his opponents to create political unrest. Venezuela's president says that he has signed in a resolution uh, with a proposal made by Conatel, the National Telecommunications Commission, decided to move to the social network X from circulation in Venezuela for 10 days so they can present their documents. Maduro did not provide details, more details about the progress taken against X. X is press off onto an email from the Associated Press requesting comment. And in sports, some great news coming out of Paris for Team Bahamas and Devin Charlton. For the very latest, we go to our man Sheldon Longley in Paris at the Olympics. Good day, Bahamas. Sheldon Longley coming to you from the games of the 33rd Olympiad here in Paris, France. History made again for the Bahamas today. Devin Charlton becoming the first Bahamian to make it to the final of the women's 100 meter hurdles in two straight Olympics. She did it again this morning, finishing second in the semifinal heat in 12.50 seconds. The, the top two finishes and the next two fastest signs move on to the final, so she will be through. Unfortunately, we cannot see the same for Charisma Taylor. She was fourth in the heat. She was third in the heat and her place in the best time of 12.63 seconds. But I'm telling you right now, the women's 100 meter hurdles is one of the most competitive races in track and field. The final qualifying time was 12.52. So even though Chris Moran, a new place in the best was 12.63 seconds, she was still more than a tenth of a second off that final qualifying spot. So that's unfortunate for her. But she got a new place in the best, and anytime an athlete does that, you know, that's just about all you could ask. I mean, you can't ask for anything much more than that. Uh, new place in the best, 12.63 seconds, just missing out on the final. She finished 12th overall. But like I said, Devon Charlton, she is through second straight Olympics into the final of the women's 100 meter hurdles, 12.50 seconds. So just one more rally to go. Devon, she will run in the final on Saturday. That's going to be like around 1.35 p.m. back in the Bahamas. It's going to be like about 7.35 p.m. here in Paris. I'm not sure if the Lena Simons is yet. The Lena Simons hasn't come out as yet, but it's going to be a stocked field. You have three Americans in there. You have uh, Camacho Quinn, who has been unbeatable all year. Jasmine Camacho Quinn from Puerto Rico. We also have the Jamaican in there, Akira Nugent. You also have Nadine Visser in there for the Netherlands. Get Devon Charlton in there, the seven right there. So it's going to be a very, very tough final. She's going to have to really get out there and really run. Uh, she'll probably going to have to run a new national record in order to get on the medal stand. This is Sharon Only coming to you live from the USA State Olympiad in Paris, France. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you, Sheldon. Thank you, Sheldon. And, uh, the Bahamas is on the verge of, uh, well, no, we can't speak that into existence, but it's potentially possible. Um, all hopes lie now within Devon Charlton, but the, the Bahamas Olympic Committee, optimistic for a strong finish for Team Bahamas. You can read about that in today's Guardian Sports section. More from the Olympics in Paris. Algerian boxer Imani Khalif is one victory away from wrapping up her tumultuous Paris Olympics with a gold medal around her neck. A potential prize that she has called the best response to a cascade of online abuse she's endured over misconceptions about her gender and sex. Khalif fights Yang Li of China Friday night in the final of the women's welterweight division at Roland Garros. Khalif has yet to lose one round on a judge's scorecard in her first three fights in Paris, going on the most dominant run of her boxing career while facing an extraordinary amount of scrutiny. It stems from Khalif and fellow two-time Olympian Li Yuting of Taiwan getting disqualified from last year's world championships by the Russian-dominated IBA, the International Boxing Association, which claims both fighters failed a murky eligibility test for women's competition. The International Olympic Committee took the unprecedented step last year of permanently banning the IBA from the Olympics following years of concerns about its governance. 
competitive fairness and financial transparency. The IOC has called the arbitrary sex test that the sports governing body imposed on the two boxers irretrievably flawed. The IBA did nothing to help with its argument this week at a shambolic news conference in which its leadership contradicted itself about the test and declined to answer basic questions about them, citing privacy concerns from the Olympic committees of Algeria and Taiwan. The IOC has repeatedly reaffirmed the two boxers' right to compete in Paris with its president, Thomas Bach, personally defending Khalif and Lin while calling the criticism hate speech. That's sports, and that's the overnight. Time for your first look at weather. First of good weather, we've got a mid to upper level trough over the extreme northwest Bahamas, along with a moist and very warm southerly flow that's going to increase shower chances across the islands. Meanwhile, a weakening surface ridge will maintain gentle to moderate breezes today. Boaters should be alert due to the threat of water spot activity. Localized flooding is also possible in flood prone and low lying areas due to locally heavy and prolonged rainfall events. And beachgoers in the extreme northwest Bahamas should exercise caution due to the moderate risk of rip currents along Atlantic exposures. For the northwest Bahamas today, variably cloudy, very warm, humid, with scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms through tonight. Showers may be locally heavy and thunderstorms severe at times. We're outside, folks. It is humid with a capital H. And so... God help us today. Uh, for boaters, expect gusty winds and higher seas in or near heavy showers and thunderstorms. Wind south to southwest at 10 to 15 knots, seas 2 to 4 feet. For the central and southeast Bahamas, partly sunny, hot, and humid with a few stray showers and possible thunderstorms. Partly cloudy and very warm tonight with a few showers. Expect gusty winds and higher seas in or near showers and thunderstorms. Wind southeast to south at 10 to 15 knots in the central islands. East to southeast at 10 to 15 in the southeastern Bahamas, seas 2 to 4 feet. Temperature-wise today, we're looking at highs getting up to around 91 Fahrenheit, 33 Celsius. But the heat index will make you feel like it's 104 Fahrenheit, 41 Celsius. Overnight lows tonight getting down to about 77 Fahrenheit, 26 Celsius. It is currently 83 degrees right now in downtown Nassau. And it feels a whole lot harder than that already. That's your first look at weather this morning. We'll have your extended outlook and look at the tropics coming up in just a bit. Wake up. It's a new day. Wake up. It's a new day. It is time for a break, but when we come back, we will have the day's top stories. And a whole lot more as we come to you live from downtown Nassau in Rawson and Parliament Square for the Bahamas Gumbay Summer Festival that kicks off in just a few hours. We'll tell you about all the roadblocks in downtown Nassau as well. And, of course, we're talking about the Olympics. A whole lot more morning blend coming to you after these messages. have uncontrollable debt? Are you ready to make that move to Fidelity for a stress-free future? These loans have a built-in savings plan that pays you unbeatable interest. Ask about our debt consolidation loans today. Call 356-7764. Fidelity, we're good for you. When you think of automobile replacement parts, superior lubricants, and accessories and chemicals of all kinds, still think Bay Street Garage Limited. For almost a century, we've been synonymous with wholesale and retail sales, free delivery to the boats for our family island customers, and for alternator and starter repair. Bay Street Garage Limited, BSG. Open 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. on weekdays, and 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Saturdays. 
Looking for great device deals and offers this summer? Look no further! Alive has special discounts on the latest smartphones, ring devices, and accessories. Plus, as an Alive customer, you can expect exclusive Get Extra offers and rewards, which means even more value for your money. We're talking more data, prizes, and surprises. Upgrade with us and experience the perfect summer with Alive in-store or at BeAlive.com forward slash deal. Attention Bahamas, embark on an inspiring voyage with two new books by Hubert Ingram, our remarkable three-time PM. Learn of his exceptional leadership in steering the nation through local and international storms. These books are a treasure for all Bahamians. Are you into history or seeking inspiration? Then this is a must-read. Available at Dungalik, Logos, the National Art Gallery, and Chapter One. Get your copies today. Be inspired by a legacy of wisdom and vision. Living with a neurological condition shouldn't define you. At Cleveland Clinic in Florida, we do whatever it takes to make life better today while discovering new treatments for a brighter tomorrow. From epilepsy management to specialized spine care and brain tumor surgery, we're delivering world-class neurology care for the day-to-day, -day, for the days you live for, for every care in the world. Visit clevelandclinicflorida.org slash Caribbean. Looking to elevate your gadget game or a tech trouble simply slowing you down? Escape to a world of innovation at Custom Computers, your go-to store for the latest cutting-edge tech. Whether you need to upgrade your life with the best from Apple and Windows or your device needs a little TLC, the Custom Computers know-how store is the destination for unbeatable expertise and quality repairs. With two convenient locations, there's a Custom Computers near you on Patton Street in Palmdale and Caves Village. Or call 390 Nine six eleven hundred. Screws and Fasteners World, Balfour Avenue and Palm Beach Street has those hard-to-find fasteners for you right now. You can find stainless steel regular hex, carriage bolts, galvanized bolts, threaded rods, nails, self-tap screws, sex bolts, anchor bolts, turnbuckles, masonry tools, hand tools, and weed whacker strings. Check out the rope selection and car body fasteners too. Special orders are welcome. It's your number one fastener store. Screws and Fasteners World, Balfour Avenue and Palm Beach Streets. Call 326-1976. Wake up. It's a new day. Wake up. It's a new day. It's the start of the start of a new way. Don't you know that this it's the start of the end of the old way. Wake up, it's a new day. To Morning Blend on Guardian Radio. We are streaming live on GuardianTalkRadio.com and on the Guardian Radio app for smart devices. We're also on your televisions on Cable Bahamas Channel 969 and BTC Flow Channel 612. You can tweet us at Morning Blend 969 or Facebook.com slash Morning Blend 969. Text us 422-4796. Standard text rates apply. It's a special edition of the show today. Square, Ross and the Parliament Square, site of the Bahamas Gumbe Summer Festival, which kicks off in just a few hours, and we're going to get all the details about it this morning. Everything you need to know and information as well. And uh, we're going to have a great time out here this morning. It's going to be a lot going on here, and you need to be making plans to be here today. So that's coming up. But, of course, we are on... Let's get... Uh, we got Dequessa Dean out here with me this morning. And um, uh, Dequessa, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I guess you should, yeah, listen. <laughs> Great to have you with us. And we are all on Olympic watch, um, but there's a lot going on as well. Let's talk about it right now in the news. And in the news, as you heard, just uh, great news from Sheldon Longley. I got up and watched it. Uh, a whole lot of you as well. Devin making it into the finals. Yeah. 
placing second in her heat, yeah. in, well, in her in her race, and um, uh, so she's on her way to the to the final, which is going to be tomorrow in the women's 100 meter hurdles. Charisma Taylor just missed out, just missed out. Yes. Um, in her, yeah, fourth in her race, um, or was it third? I thought she was but, what? But, was but she didn't make it. Oh, you know, a, that's, yeah, that's, that's it. Right, 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 right. Mm-hmm. But, um, but she didn't make it. But clearly a bright future yes, for Charisma Taylor. We're going to expect a lot from her yes. uh, going forward. Um, but just amazing stuff. And you know, all of our hopes now on uh, Devin Charlton. <laughs> I know she can, she can do it. She can do it. She can do it. She can do it. She's the yeah. world record holder yeah. in the 60 uh, hurdles Hurdle. indoors. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of intense competition, though. Yeah. But we know she can do it. We yeah, can she's do been it. training hard and being oh, focused. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Doing well this year. So, yeah. Hopefully. So, we so yeah, we got everything crossed. Hoping for the best there. All right, so we're going to have a lot more on the Olympics in just a bit. Just want to get through some of the other stories making news this morning and um so the big headline the nasa guardian gbpa is sole regulator for port area this is um what they've been saying of course the government is saying that cannot be urca is for the entire country um regardless of what the hospital creek agreement says and what the gbpa is saying i'm all for real municipal government where you cannot be doing things that contravene the laws of the land. Right. We're still one country, and this is a very dangerous precedent here. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a little confused about it because is it under the new 2024 Electricity Act that ERCA is responsible for the entire country and has the Grand Bahama Port Authority had jurisdiction previously under the old Act for that's what they're claiming. Yes, um, and a case can be made for that, and that's why they're saying this is a, a court matter now to, right. de- to, de- to make it des- to decide what's supposed to happen here. Right. Um, but yeah, it's going to be interesting. They're also saying though they have not approved the request from the uh, power company Correct. because they know that the ramifications that could have. Right. So I guess they're cautioning everyone to avoid overreacting, maybe. They say they won't make a decision until December 1st, or I guess if the court matter comes up before right. that, we will, we will keep you posted on that one. Um, electricity is a big problem all over the country, as we know, and BPL having major struggles in Eleuthera, yeah. where they're promising that they are going to, they have some short-term solutions it's definitely needed. on the table. It's definitely needed. Don't yeah, worry. it's been a rough yeah. summer for Eleuthera. The water issues, yes. the power issues. Every, almost every utility. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's you better believe it. It was actually a vacation destination for me and my granddaughter. And a friend visited, and she, was, she came back, and she was telling me about the electricity going off two or three times a day. Oh um, the sand flies. You can't oh, get well. cool. Yeah. I'm like, oh, no, boy. I'm not going to be going there this summer. Absolutely <laughs> Oh, so not. you changed your mind? Absolutely. Changed my mind. I sent a note to um, my family that I was going to visit. When the electricity stabilizes, hey, I'll be there. We'll come over. What? But could you imagine the heat, the sand flies? You can't cool off. Mm. You can't. You can't stay stuck inside. And if possibly, you come outside, you get eaten. Possibly so. no, no, no ability to shower. <laughs> right, because yeah. no water. So it's 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 a horrible That's situation. That's a rough one there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, all right. Um, so. Uh, We'll keep you posting all of these stories, folks, um, all of these stories. But we do want to talk about the Olympics. I uh, want to hear from you uh, about Devin and, uh, and what you've been seeing so far. I got some stuff to say about Mr. <laughs> Noah Lyles of the United States, Mr. COVID. Yes, Mr. Mr. COVID. Mr. Convenient COVID. Mr. COVID. But let's talk. 323-6232, 325-4316. Three two five four two five nine. I hope I'm not calling out <laughs> numbers that don't make sense to everybody. Let me make sure I've got the right numbers there. And of course, you can text us four two two four seven nine six three two five four two five nine three two five four three one six three two five six two three two three six two three two. Um, yeah. So. <laughs> So the race yesterday, yeah. you know, the 200. 
And of course, the American media is thinking Noah has this. Right, because he had the 100. Yeah, because he's right. the greatest thing right. in history and all this stuff. Um, and barely acknowledging that other people, including other Americans, Correct. were in the race. Correct. Um, and just focused on him so much. And we've seen him wearing the mask for the last couple of days. Wondering, mm -hmm. I just thought he was being antisocial. But, uh, you know, that's just me. But, um, <laughs> but, you know, he comes out speeding out in his right. entrance everybody else stops to pose right but he's like shooting Big out jump up and down yes. running somersaults up, yes, and yes. pointing at people screaming uh -huh. america <laughs> and uh, yeah it right. reminded me of a basketball game yeah. i'm like what? Uh, <laughs> and then you know and he gets beat he got beaten he comes third right and then suddenly COVID. he's dying <laughs> It's unbelievable. Uh, Let me tell you, I, we people watching, I had a bunch of people who were messaging each other and calling and everybody screaming, yay. No, we don't want the downfall of anybody, right. but just the, 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 the level of attitude, the attitude and arrogance absolutely. is astounding. Yes. And you just feel like he needs to get... I mean, he barely won the 100, but anyway. Right? <laughs> Say that louder. Don't whisper that under your breath. He barely, he barely won, won, the 100. won the 100. Correct. So, uh, yeah. yeah, that shouldn't have given him uh, such a massive tell me, uh, anyway, attitude. It. But then the COVID thing. And this is the thing. If you thought you had COVID, and he said, yeah, they're corroborating that he tested positive. Why would you do this? Why would... Why it's like this with all those... Correct. People and these people have to run in other races going Correct. forward. You're going to destroy potentially their yeah. Olympic dreams. Correct. But and even all to, the to train, he's hugging in I the, mean, to practice, to warm up, and yeah, the, and the yeah. days leading up because apparently he said he had COVID for a couple of days, he right? The so you've been around people. Yes, yep. you've been wearing a mask, but you know he how do you wear a mask when he was running? Right. And he was hugging people when he when he finished no, the race. That's not cool. And to put people in danger like that, yeah. it's unbelievable. But for no matter what we said, we um, Sports Max, the Caribbean broadcaster, who they've been providing coverage, the commentary was amazing yesterday. I have to play this clip from from Sports Max. Um, I want you to hear this. Take a listen to this. Caribbean rep there, showing some good stuff. What no allies say you have COVID-19? Well, that was the revelation from several of the credible yes. news sources around credible the world. Credible news source. He have COVID-19. I call that cocktail 19. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I don't want to hear that. You have COVID-19. Stay home. Take your medicine. Go into quarantine. You come to run on the track. One thing about Olympics. One thing about elite sport. You could always, you're one step away from a humbling experience. When you get overdone and overexcited, to go go. If, if no alliance had no COVID-19, if he had COVID-16 plus supplement, that would have still get licking. That run from Tobago must never be doubted and no one question and talk nothing about COVID-19. That run was perfection. This man is tired. This man run three rounds at 100, the third round at the 200, and he blew them away. No alliance, take your licks like a man. Keshane Thompson, we take we licks. We clap you, we respect you. You get a blowout, take your blowout, go up in your wheelchair, and go and eat and relax yourself. Don't come and tell me nothing about no COVID-19, because if you have COVID-19, you're irresponsible for going there and giving the whole stadium COVID-19. Take your legs like a man, no lies. The man hold you and beat you. You said a cough after, you wasn't coughing when they introduced you. I don't want to hear that, nah. Are you still a fan? I'm still a fan, but don't do that. Don't do me that. Take your legs. You understand? I, 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 oh, I am gosh. a fan of his 100. He came out. He took pressure. He beat a faster man. Kishane Thompson is faster than him. He went and he won. Now, don't mash it up. Be classy. You win with class. You get curtailed with class. Get up off the ground. If you have COVID, give the man an elbow bounce. But to Bogo, my goodness, 1945, then they lift it up to 1946, and he do so. He gave me a little bolt with eight meters to go. He said, hey boy, move from here, move from here. The man stop running and run 1945. I don't care what you say, healthy, not healthy. You was not beating Tobago at that time in this final. Watch this man come off this bend. 
And this man, I never see speed like this since Usain Bolt. He right there, Bednarik says, Kung Fu time. And here goes Tebogo. Well, as they are no COVID, he trying. Look at pump, look at arms, and come move out of here, man. It's hang jack, it's dominoes, it's licking, finger licking good. Now you get COVID, watch COVID now, lie down. Don't give me that, man. <sighs> You either Look, he hugging up and giving to Bogo COVID. <laughs> but the whole of Botswana should be vexed. If you have COVID, what are you hugging up to Bogo for? Once again, folks, you either love him or you hate nah, him. Nah, tell no lies. Don't give me that. Go and paint his nails some more, man. Don't give me that. Take a lick. Look like COVID, Rich. No, no. He the now will get infected. The man that uh, mm, they, they, spoke, they spoke heavily of, uh, let's see little Bogo of Botswana. Alex Jordan actually caught up with him. Let Okay, <laughs> so as we said, I don't think we could have said it any better than, than that. Um, seriously, I mean, and you're putting, you took the spotlight totally away from the winner and your fellow American who came second convincingly, and I, I can't think of anything more selfish than this. This is a disgrace. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right, so let's, uh, we're hearing the question there, yeah? All right, so say it again, take your licking. <laughs> okay, let's get some calls in. 323-6232, 325-4332, three, 325-4259, three, three, tweet us, Facebook us, text us, 422-4796. I think we got your mic sorted out now there, yeah? Hear you much? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Well, again, so we got Devin. We are uh, really hoping that um, that this is going to work out. That this is going to be something special. All right. Mic check. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're good. All right. Again, 323-6232, 325 Tweet us, Facebook us, text us, 422-4796. Yeah. Yeah, very interesting. Yeah, I think it's bad messaging to, to so many young people who are probably looking up to, to him. And... Making but I mean, excuses, like, in just, just such a short period of time, that ego just peaked and he became the man and showed out. Media hype, I think that yeah. played a big role. We're going to melt out here, by the way. This, <laughs> this, 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 if you hear us struggling, the That's sun is coming Bring a portable air conditioner, please. Coming. Please. Woo. Okay. Please. <laughs> Anyway, let's get to some of your text messages. This person says here, I'm cracking up on this North Carolina street. Oh, okay. Well, glad that we could provide some entertainment <laughs> for you. Um, I just keep wondering, would he have said that he had COVID had he won? I, I don't know, but he, they said he tested yeah, positive. He wasn't going to tell anybody that. I think he would have said it, well, and so he would have bragged COVID, that he won. Look at right, this. Right. I still look won at with this. COVID. Yes, yes. I mean, if you have COVID, you came third. That's pretty, that's still pretty good. amazing. Yeah. So good. Um, but hmm, okay. <laughs> this person says here. Uh, oh boy, what is this? Where is this coming from? Okay, that's that's weird. Uh, this person says our country just has has had a bad year. You're talking about track, it happens sometimes. Now the whole board should resign. Talking about the BOC. Wow, and this is why I love the young people. Stop being biased in this country. Let's build for the future. Hmm. Okay. Um, this person says, <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, Noel Lyles is just an immature and ignorant young man. He runs his stupid mouth too much. Wow, that's a lot. The latest being um, what his Jamaican girlfriend told him about the Jamaican track team. Now he has Jamaicans not liking her anymore and threatening her. Well, I missed that. But I did hear somebody say his girlfriend can't go back home. I don't yeah, know what happened yeah, there. I've seen I've seen some commentary about what her. What did she say about the hugging team? him and supporting him? I don't know what she said, well, but she was very supportive of. Yeah. I mean, but that's a no-brainer. That's her boyfriend. But I don't yeah. know. They have been alluding that she's been sharing 
from the Jamaican track team information with him. It's, it's, I don't know that it's factual, <laughs> you know, but in uh-huh. social media, it, that's, that's what's being said. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mm-hmm. guess, I guess, you know, they figured things are shared in intimate moments, I guess. I don't know. Say? I'm guessing. They eat I don't a lot know. of cassava. That's right. That's a secret. Are they run the hills. Yeah. Well, for endurance. I don't know. Right, but right. they're, I don't know. I mean, strategy. There's no, I don't know. Anyway, yeah. Whatever. Um, this texture says, I believe that Noah really had COVID because compared to Tibogo, um, he was running so slow that um, 2019 caught up with him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, well, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Keep your text coming in. We've got more. This person says, who let him run to infect all the elite athletes and make them lose a chance at medals? He could infect any athlete, not just Correct. the others in the 100 meters or 200 meters. How selfish. Yeah, exactly. I don't, I don't think it's going to end v- very well. I think there's going to be um, ramifications for this. Penalties, right. perhaps, fines, who knows? Yeah. This because, is a, and if they knew he had COVID, yeah. then he should have been... He should not have been allowed to run or come into the stadium or be where the other athletes are. Right. Yeah. It's a danger. Very interesting. Unless they're now treating COVID, you know, like the common cold. You know, maybe that's... Some people certainly you know, are. Yeah, I, I don't know if that's what it is. Yeah. Some people certainly are. So, hmm. <laughs> so what are we thinking? What are we thinking about tomorrow, the hurdles? I'm, 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 I'm betting on her. Mm-hmm. Gold, silver, bronze. We'll take any one. A eh? medal. Preferably yeah. gold. Yeah. But, but we just we think that will be amazing yeah. for her. And we're really looking forward to it. And even just a new best record. You know, giving her best. Medal. Medal, medal will be medal. But will be we good. want a medal. We want a medal. <laughs> medal will be good. Devin can do it. We know she can. All right, so again, that is, let me get the right time for you for that, the hurdles. I've got to pull it up. Where's my schedule? It's going to be afternoon hour time. And tomorrow at 1.30, okay. 1.35. So we'll be awake. One thirty. <laughs> Some of us will be. We'll, we'll Some be of awake. us will be awake. Uh, and that's 1.30 hour time. Yeah. All right, yeah. so we'll be awake. All right. So, let's take a break. When we come back, you can hear it. All the setting up is starting. And, um, well, there's already been a lot of setup. The stage is here. Yeah, We're live beautiful. here in a very sunny, very humid Rawson and uh, <laughs> <laughs> Parliament Square for Bahamas Gumbe Summer Festival. When we come back, we get all the details yeah. about what's going to be happening here in just a few hours. This is Morning Blend on Guardian Radio 96.9. Stay with us. is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM, Nassau, Bahamas. Life is full of twists, turns, and defining moments that create your own unique story. However your story unfolds, we're here to help guide you through it. From every big decision to every new adventure, RBC. Visit rbc.com slash Caribbean slash all of you.
And at 7.44, time for your first look at traffic for the morning, brought to you by RBC. Find your loan solution with RBC. All right, so we've got some traffic diversions as a result of the festival today in downtown Nassau. So uh, here's what you need to know. So this began Thursday evening. Uh, the roads closed to Bay Street between Charlotte Street and Rawson Square. And that, uh, that allowed for the setup here in, in the square. But um, this morning, the road is closed. The square is closed to vehicular traffic. And uh, there'll be one central lane of eastbound traffic allowed from Charlotte Street until Parliament Street. And all traffic should be diverted north and south of Bay Street. As of 1 o'clock today, the eastbound intersection of Bay and Charlotte Street will be closed to vehicular traffic until the end of the festival. And the festival begins at 6 p.m. and ends at midnight. So all normal activities on Bay Street will resume tomorrow morning. So keep that in mind if you're in downtown Nassau today or thinking about coming in this area. And a reminder of the work going on on Eastern Road, the paving, and on Tony Bloom's Darling Highway. Keep that in mind. You might want to avoid the area if you can. In your real-time traffic right now, we are seeing some, some traffic downtown um, as a result of these diversions, so keep that in mind. And also, Model Butler Highway, just a bit of congestion just north of Harold Pond on the way to Tony Bloom's Darling Highway in the northbound lanes. So far elsewhere, not looking so bad at this point, but we'll have another update for you after the 8 o'clock news. That's your Morning Blend Traffic, brought to you by RBC. Visit rbc.com slash loan slash all of you to start a conversation. And it's time for another check of your weather. We've got a mid to upper level trough over the extreme northwest Bahamas, along with a moist and very warm southerly flow. That's going to increase shower chances across the islands. Meanwhile, a weakening surface ridge will maintain gentle to moderate breezes today. Boaters should be alert for the threat of water spout activity. Localized flooding is possible in flood prone areas and low lying areas due to locally heavy and prolonged rainfall events. And beachgoers in the extreme northwest Bahamas should exercise caution due to the moderate risk of rip currents along Atlantic exposures. So for today for the Northwest Palmas, variably cloudy, very warm and humid, with scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms through tonight. Showers may be locally heavy and thunderstorms severe at times. For the central southeastern islands, partly sunny, hot and humid, with a few stray showers and possible thunderstorms. Partly cloudy and very warm at night with a few showers. Temperatures getting up to 91 Fahrenheit, 33 Celsius, but the heat index will make you feel like it's 104 Fahrenheit, 41 Celsius. Overnight lows tonight getting down to 77 Fahrenheit, 25 Celsius. It is currently about 83 right now in Nassau, 83 in Freeport, showers in some parts of Grand Bahama. In your extended outlook for your weekend, we've got a mid to upper level trough that will continue to support pockets of showers and thunderstorms across the northwestern islands through tomorrow and uh, high pressure will become the dominant weather feature across the area, bringing hot and humid conditions with typical afternoon showers through early next week. We'll have a close look at the tropics in our next weather check after the 8 o'clock news. We'll be back with more Morning Blend here on Garden Radio 96.9. You try to rest, but go with the best For all your printing needs, there ain't no one better, no For posters and binders, magazines and flyers For window decals, reading cards and newsletters No job too, job too small, you name it, we can print it Just give us a call Masters, bring your masterpiece to life Located the Nassau Guardian Building, telephone 302-2361 Now let me see now, 326-ETIC Hello, hello, this this epic, epic battery This Miss Bueller from around the corner I hear you are selling tires now on Wolf Road too. Praise the Lord, it's about time I live Fox Hill and Fire Trail, it's too far 
Saturday or they open Monday to Friday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. On Sunday and holiday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. My brother Sam, he's a hacker and he could go right there and get fixed up. Call us at 326 Epic. We ship also to the family island. Craving something delicious and freshly made? Duncan has got you covered all day your way. From savory sausage, egg and cheese to crispy bacon, ham, and even tuna, our sandwiches are made to order just for you. Choose your favorite. Bagels, croissant, toast, or muffin. Whatever you want, we've got it. Whether it's a classic grilled cheese or a hearty club, your perfect sandwich is just a bite away. Duncan's fresh, made-to-order sandwiches made all day your way. Only at Duncan. The Bahamas runs on Duncan. Maybe it's time to explore your options. There's no harm in reviewing your mortgage arrangement and considering a better deal. CIBC Caribbean can help you narrow your search and decide. Switch your mortgage to CIBC Caribbean and enjoy a special interest rate and help towards your switching cost. Visit CIBCFCIB.com forward slash inspired home for more information. Conditions apply. We go everywhere. Shop early at Janae's Chesapeake Road Annual Back to School Sale going on now. Get up to 20% off on all school items in stock. Yes, all school items in stock. Shirts, jumpers, skirts, boys long and short pants, school neckties, fee shorts, and a variety of colors and school monograms. Shop early and don't miss out at Janae's Uniform Center Chesapeake Road's Annual Back to School Sale going on now. Remember, we go everywhere. Beat the rush and save, save, save at Janae's Annual Sale now. I don't in the world of business, technology is not a choice. It's a necessity. And for businesses that demand excellence, there's only one choice for unparalleled support and cutting-edge technology. Custom Computers. You have challenges and we have solutions. Computing, networking, storage and printing for enterprises large and small aligned with premium brands like HP, Microsoft, Konica Minolta and more. Get tech done the right way with Custom Computers. Call the know-how team at 396-1101. Experience the immediate care you deserve at Doctors Hospital Urgent Care. When emergency strikes, trust our expert physicians for fast quality care. With extended hours and cutting edge medical technology, we're always ready to serve you. Don't wait or take risks with your health. Visit our urgent care suite at Doctors Hospital West on Blake Road for immediate, trusted and best care. This is Guardian Radio, your station for up-to-the-minute news, intelligent, interactive, and engaging conversation. 96.9 FM. It's that time again. It's time to have fun. Call up all your friends. Bring your family. Only one place to be. Come go with me. Where the food is nice. Welcome back to Morning Blend on Guardian Radio 96.9. It's a special edition of the show. We're coming to you live from Rawson Square. We've got the Bahamas Gumbe Summer Festival back in Nassau. It's Gumbe on Bay. That's what you're calling it. Um, twice drawn to Quest of Dean with you. Our special guest with us this morning from the Ministry of Tourism, Nikki Reed Simmons. Uh, good morning. Good Cousin morning. Nikki. Good morning. This it's is lovely to see both of you. In this heat, you got a big. We got a little some housekeeping to do here. This is a big yeah, week. We I, got, I saw the family catch up. I, I saw we it got happening. Cousin again. They had my aunt a couple of days ago. Um, right. So the Strons okay. are taking over. Right. It's taking over. <laughs> taking over the whole show. Um, but we want to wish Aunt Mary was on. That's right. Um, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Aunt Blessings Mary for and many more. Uncle Joseph. And Uncle Joseph. <laughs> Mary and Joseph. They were Mary meant to be Joseph, together. Yes. But oh, <laughs> happy anniversary. <laughs> All right, Nikki, enough with the family stuff. You got something big going on here. This is the second one for the season, right? That's correct. This is the second time that we are back on Bay as well. As you know, the festival would have started in the 70s, and then we had a little break from it being on Bay Street. Um, we continue the, tra the tradition. However, we're back on Bay, having a great time. Um, it's a cultural explosion. Mm -hmm. You can't beat it. Um, we, we, we are, it is for everyone. Tell everybody how it works, because you've been hopping, yeah. island yes. hopping over the past few weeks. 
So we started in Grand Bahama. We moved through Abaco, then on to Exuma. We did Harbor Island. We did, well, actually, we're doing Eleuthera. We did Bimini. Um, and we started here a little later. And we are going to go into Long Island and Cat Island. Lower Bogue is actually tomorrow night. Oh, wow. So, so you're uh, different teams or different you're, teams. Or everybody going so, all over the place? You know, everybody wants to go. <laughs> and they can if they want to. Um, but yes, we have teams on the islands, and we, 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 we oversee certain things yeah. from here. Okay. Um, but it's an opportunity to really give our visitors and, of course, locals just a, a cultural explosion yeah. of who we are. We came in with a new song. Is it a new song, right? From DMAC? That's correct. Talking about Gombe. Um, yes. So you got a whole song for the festival. That's right. Special shout out to Dylan McKenzie, better known as DMAC. You know, DMAC is. <laughs> An exceptional entertainer. Oh, yeah. And when we, we spoke with him, we said that we, we actually said we wanted a jingle. Wow. And he came back with a song. And <laughs> like, oh, my wow. gosh, this That's is great. Cool. Um, and he all happy that he produced that song for us. Mm -hmm. And it's quite catchy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it's summertime. And he's going to be performing? He's going to perform next week for okay. us, um, you know, for the final week. You know, he's a... He's a big entertainer. You can't have him too early. No, 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 no. <laughs> Got it. Go out with a bang. Go out with a bang. And you're going to be back on bay. Here. On, boy, on, on bay. bay. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. When you moved from bay last time, where were you? We used to be, it was actually out at one point at the wharf area, and then we did versions of it out on Arawak Key. Okay. I, it changed a bit. We kind of named it Junkanoo Summer Festival. Right, Junkanoo right. Summer um, Festival. But, you know... Um, Gumbe is something that's really traditional, mm -hmm. and there was a lot of people requesting it. When are you doing it again? Mm -hmm. And you know, it was su extremely successful when it started in the 70s, and we are lucky to still be able to do it mm -hmm. and sh just showcase our our beautiful culture, our people. Yeah, I All remember right. as a mm -hmm. little girl going to Gumbe in Miami. Is there a connection? Yes, with Coconut Grove. Yes, Coconut They're Grove. They're going to be doing some more um, events coming up, too. I think next year you're going to see something even bigger there. Okay. Yes. That's pretty cool. All right, so tell people what we're expecting today. It starts at 6 o'clock. So it starts at 6, six o'clock. Um, you know, when you come through, as we start from Charlotte Street straight up here to Rosson Square area, um, you are going to have lots of food. Um, we have Bahamian artisans showing their best in jewelry. Um, wood carving, you name it, you can purchase whatever you like. We have a huge kids area. Oh my gosh, the kids area is really cool. Like mm -hmm. they have airplanes, trains. You know, my son thinks he's an expert on games <laughs> and he's like always impressed. He's calling, could he invite this friend? He had an excellent time two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And so he's definitely going to come back out again. Um, but you know, what we're, what we're doing, we are obviously assisting in boosting economic activity here for Bahamians mm -hmm. um, because a lot of the visitors come through during the day, stay over visitors as mm -hmm. well as our cruise ship visitors. Yeah. Um, and our locals come out in the evening to mm -hmm. hear the best entertainment, to sample some great food, you know, things like crab duff. Um, I, I, crab I, hope you, duff. I hope you bought your appetite this morning. You're going to have, you know, a little Are something. we going to be some samples? Okay, okay. Yeah, that something. sounds good. Yes. Um, but the best in our food. And, and that's how we tell our stories. It's through our, our people, our food, our, our entertainment. Yes. So from Charlotte all the way to here that's at the right. end of the square. So it's a street party. It's, it's a block a party. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. All right. Sounds amazing. And from 6 o'clock, you have like a schedule? For what, what's going to be happening at 6 and... So we just really like at 6 o'clock because people are just kind of getting off from work. Right. Um, we, we tend to have just more DJ music. We have our stilt walkers going mm -hmm. around. We have a lot of areas for photography mm -hmm. with our Islands of the Bahamas signs. Um, and then we really kick off about 7 o'clock with a pre-show uh, where you'll see some fire dancers. We're actually, tonight, we have a special treat. We, I've never seen one, but um, back in the day, I heard it, it was all of that, mm -hmm. the Chipman family, Mitzi Chipman and her family are going to do a Gumbe rush out. Not oh a Jankanu rush out, okay. but a Gumbe rush out. And so we're looking forward to that. Do you um, know what it is? What is a... I, I can't give you all the details. <laughs> I cannot. I, I want you to come out. Okay. I really want you to come out. We mm -hmm. want to encourage everyone to come on out and see. But we're going to have the fire dancing, limbo dancing, uh, the Gumbe rush out. 
Um, and then we get into some more entertainment. The main, the main event starts at 9 o'clock. Yeah. And so we have performers like Johnny Cake. Um, we have Bloody. Everybody loves Bloody. Mm -hmm. King of Rick and Scrape. He's going to come on out. Y you just have to be out here. All right. Yeah. We're going to break for news. When we come back, we have more on what to expect out here today. As Nikki says, we may sample some, some goodies as well. <laughs> so that's coming up. We are live here, getting ready for the excitement later today at the Bahamas Gumbe Summer Festival, Gumbe on Bay, a special edition of Morning Blend on Guardian Radio. Stay with us. It's that time again. It's time to have fun. Call up all your friends. Bring your family. Be one place to be. Come go with me. Where the food is nice. This is Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM, Nassau, Bahamas. On Guardian Radio 96.9. We're coming to you live from uh, downtown Nassau. Bahamas Gumbay Summer Festival kicks off in just a few hours. We are here to give you all the information about the day. What's going to be happening here at Gumbay on Bay. More details throughout the show. But right now, it's time for another check of weather brought to you by Sherwin Williams Paints. We've got a mid to upper level trough over the extreme northwest Bahamas along with a moist and very warm southerly flow that's going to increase shower chances across the islands. Meanwhile, a weakening surface ridge will maintain gentle to moderate breezes today. Boaters should be alert for water spot activity and localized flooding is possible in flood-prone and low-lying areas due to locally heavy and prolonged rainfall events. And beachgoers in the extreme northwest Bahamas should exercise caution due to the moderate risk of rip currents along Atlantic exposures. For the Northwest Bahamas today, variably cloudy, very warm and humid with scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms through tonight. Showers may be locally heavy and thunderstorms strong to severe at times. For the central and southeast Bahamas, partly sunny, hot and humid with a few stray showers and possible thunderstorms. Partly cloudy and very warm at night with a few showers. Temperatures today, we're looking at highs around 91 Fahrenheit, 33 Celsius. But the heat index will make you feel like it's 104 Fahrenheit, 41 Celsius. Overnight lows today, getting down about 77 Fahrenheit, 25 Celsius. In your extended outlook for the weekend, a mid to upper level troughing will continue to support pockets of showers and thunderstorms across the northwest Bahamas through Saturday, as high pressure becomes the dominant weather feature across the area bringing hot and humid conditions with typical afternoon showers through early next week. So for Saturday, tomorrow, partly sunny, hot and humid with isolated showers and thunderstorms, a bit breezy in the southeast Bahamas. Sunday, partly sunny, hot, humid, widely scattered showers, isolated thunderstorms, again, a bit breezy in the southeast Bahamas. In the tropics, we've got a tropical wave over the tropical Atlantic, several hundred miles west southwest of the Cabo Verde Islands. That's producing widespread disorganized showers and thunderstorms. Now, any development of the wave should be slow to occur over the next few days. The system is forecast to move generally west-northwest and could approach the Greater Antilles by the middle part of next week. It has about a 50% chance of tropical cyclone formation through the next seven days. So something to keep an eye on. We'll tell you more about that next week. But that is your morning blend weather check brought to you by Sherwin Williams Paints. Sherwin Williams Paints has got you covered for all of your painting and equipment needs. Visit Sherwin Williams Paints online or in store today.
And at 8 for Traffic for today, brought to you by RBC. Find your lo- loan solution with RBC. All right, so as we're telling you, we're in downtown Nassau today and here for the Bahamas Green Bay Summer Festival, and that means there are going to be traffic diversions. Those have already started. They are underway right now, and so you need to keep this in mind as you make your way about the streets in the province, especially if you're in the downtown area. So here's what is happening. Already we've got some closures as of yesterday. Bay Street between Charlotte and Rawson Square is closed to, to allow for setup for the festival. And uh, this morning, the square is closed to all vehicular traffic. So there's one central lane of eastbound traffic on Bay Street, and that's going to be allowed to Charlotte Street until Parliament Street. And all traffic is diverted north and south of Bay Street. As of uh, 1 o'clock, the eastbound intersection of Bay and Charlotte Street will be closed to vehicular traffic until the end of the festival. The festival kicks off at 6 p.m. and ends at midnight. After that time, uh, Bay Street should resume as normal. But um, if you don't have to be in this area, you might want to avoid it. But, of course, you should come down to the festival today. We'll have more on that in just a bit. In your real-time traffic, we're already seeing uh, the closures impacting traffic in downtown Nassau. Heavy traffic for you from uh, Navy Line Road straight up to Parliament Street. And again, if you don't need to be here, you might want to avoid it. And if you do work in the area, keep that in mind. There are going to be major delays for you this morning. And the traffic picks up after East Street, heading east on Bay Street into East Bay Street. Elsewhere, we've got Mile Butler Highway, some heavy traffic for you about midway between Fire Trail and Tawny Gwim's Darling Highway. As you approach Harold Pond, you'll see that northbound traffic. And there, uh, Blue Hill Road, Blue Road and Carmichael, we've got some congestion at that junction. And then uh, Blue Hill Road near the Roundabout Independence Drive. Elsewhere, not looking so bad for you on the streets of New Providence, but that is your morning blend traffic brought to you by RBC. Start a conversation at rbc.com slash loan slash all of you. Radio, your station for up-to-the-minute news, intelligent, interactive, and engaging conversation. 96.9 FM. It's that time again. It's time to have fun. Call up all your friends. Bring your family. Be one place to be. Come go with me. Where the food is nice. We are back with Morning Blend, coming to you live in downtown Nassau for Bahamas Goombe Summer Festival, kicking off in just a few hours. Nikki Reed Simmons is with us from the Ministry of Tourism, giving us all the details about what to expect. You were telling us off here about how successful this has been in the islands. Um, let's talk about that. You had how many in Grand Bahama? Grand Bahama had four. Wow. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Opportunity for vendors. Um, from different an settlements, different parts? You're in different settlements, different parts, or? Well, they had them all at Taino Beach. Okay. Okay. Yes. Well, that's a good place. So, a good shout place out to, to Novalari and his team there. Um, but, you know, Gumbay, as I would have said earlier, is an opportunity uh, for Bahamians um, to increase their their wages in terms of making more money. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it's it's a way to boost the economy. And in Grand Bahama, that was very clear over those four weeks that happened. So much so that, you know, vendors and other Bahamians enjoying the food and entertainment mm-hmm. wanted them to have more than four. Um, we have that same issue here in Nassau. They want, they, if it could go all summer, of course, that's a little hard for the government to sustain. Yeah. But People are hoping for it every week. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> 
but it's going to be three this week and next week will be the we'll second be the and final. third. Yes, okay. for Nassau. Yeah. Um, but most of the islands, Abaco had two. Um, and, and what's really special about those islands, um, you know, they have a lot more cultural games. Um, the, the watermelon eating contest, pineapple eating contest, planting the maple, you know, very good, good down home yeah. Bahamian cultural events, um, games, things for our visitors to experience. And they love it. Yeah. Um, you know, this year we saw a lot of people in my department calling our department to find out when is Gombe. They, they mm -hmm. attended last year. They went to one or two of the islands and they wanted to plan their vacations around it. Mm -hmm. And so we saw a lot more visitors in Abaco, in Exuma. Um, as I said, Harbor Island. I mean, Harbor Island, well, they have tourists all year long. Yeah. So, But it was very good, very well attended. Um, so much so, as I said, it's hard for the government to sustain it all year round or for the three months, the June, July, August period. Um, if we could, we would, because we are happy to see that people you know, made their money and were able to do other things. Question on our text line. You can text us as well, 4224796. Why is the festival on uh, Friday and not Saturday? Interesting question. Well, you know... Let's wait for this speed racer to go speed by. Speed racer. I don't know where he's going in downtown. Oh, maybe that's it, working. That's an sure. accessory. Sure. That's a car accessory, okay? <laughs> that guy is something else. But anyway, okay. I think he's gone. So, you know, we really want to give our locals and visitors a chance to island hop. So we have go bay here on a Friday. For instance, tomorrow you could go to Eleuthera in Lower Bogue where it's going to be held. Mm -hmm. We had a number of people doing that. Um, they, they would have gone to Grand Bahama Thursday, been here on a Friday, end up exum in Exuma on Saturday. Mm -hmm. okay. So we, nice. we, we, we want you to have a, a real opportunity to see what's going on everywhere. Yeah. So yeah. kick off the weekend here yes. and then take it somewhere Absolutely, else afterwards. Yes. Oh, okay, that sounds good. All right, so again, remind folks what's going to be happening here um, uh, beginning at 6 o'clock. So as we start off at 6, obviously people are just coming in. Um, we're uh, encouraging everybody to visit the various vendors, the food. You're going to hear a little bit more about the food shortly. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to encourage uh, everyone to bring the kids out earlier. It's a safe environment. You're also going to hear from the coordinators of the Kids' Corner, the Kids' Village. It's, it's a fabulous time. But really, at the beginning, um, just getting everyone into the square. At 7, there's a pre-show. We're going to have a traditional Gombe rush out, limbo and fire dancers. One. You need to be afraid. I need to see what that is. Yes. Yeah. You know, I, when you talk Gombe, too, you can't talk about Gombe and not talk about the Chipman family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Our producer yeah. knows a lot about and this so stuff. You know what a Gombe rush out is? No. You do? I do. You, do you really? No, he's shaking. <laughs> See, he doesn't know. I, I, All right. I don't. So I have a question. Mm -hmm. And for those who may not have come last week or who may be just hearing about it for the first time, is there a cost for coming out to participate? Gumbe is absolutely free. We don't charge. We want you to come in. We want you to enjoy yourself. We want you to look at what we have to offer. Spend your money with the vendors. Yes. Mm -hmm. But you don't, there's no cover charge. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. That's yeah, a great deal. That's a great pull right there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, Nikki, you're going to stick around, right? I will. Yeah, all right. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll meet some of the vendors. We're going to talk to people about what you can expect when you come here today as we get close to, sadly, the end. But we've got two, we got two more opportunities today and next week to experience Gumbe Summer. don't forget, if, if you, you know, we want you to come here, mm -hmm. um, but go to Eleuthera. Um, as I said, there's going to be one in Long Island, Cat mm -hmm. Island, San Salvador. So you got many so opportunities. Some options. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's the summer. Why not? All right, we're gonna be back. This is Morning Blend. We'll be back here in downtown Nassau, in Guardian Radio, ninety six point nine. Stay with us. It's that time again. It's time to have fun. Call up all your friends. Bring your family. Be one place to be. Come go with me. Where the food is nice. Irvin Williams then. Don't get the best service in the Bahamas then. The love is really, really strong in Sherwin Williams. We don't just sell paint. We service you with a smile, good hearts, 
mind, soul, and body. Mm -hmm. And we love our customers as much as we love ourselves. Real, real talk. I'm not just saying this real to impress myself. We love to go beyond with customer service. So they feel delighted to come in Trevor Williams because they know I can either see Dee Dee or I can see Shelly or one of our other wonderful staff members. We treat our customers with the respect of our boss because there are many paint companies they can choose to go to. No, baby. If they go to some other paint companies, so I don't get this little thing at the end of the week. We want to make sure you get that little ting, Shelley. Come visit Shelley and Dee Dee at Sherwin-Williams Bahamas and you'll surely find color in every day. At Wendy's, we are different. We don't just use beef. It's fresh, never frozen. Our burgers are square because we never cut corners. Served hot off the grill with fresh lettuce, tomatoes, onions, and American cheese. We believe in fast food done right. Always serving fresh, never frozen beef. Order a hot, juicy Dave single. Double or triple. Made with fresh, never frozen beef. Now only at Wendy's. Different inside and out. Tired of banks forcing you to use technology to bank the way they want you to? Your convenience is important. So no matter what your banking needs, Commonwealth Bank's friendly staff are always available in branch for that personal one-on-one -on -one service. But when you choose technology, our online and mobile banking app offers you state-of-the-art functionality. The choice is yours. Commonwealth Bank. Bank the way you want. Earning zero interest on your savings at the bank? With as little as $100, you can start earning interest on your money while you're sleeping, eating, or standing in line at the bank with the Seafeld Savings Express Plan. Ready to invest? Start by putting $1,000 into our mutual funds and earn interest there too. Because at CFAL, your interest is our interest. Visit CFAL.com to start now. CFAL, growing wealth for future generations of Bahamians. Now let me see now. 326 ETIC. Hello? Hello? This this epic, e epic battery? This Miss Bueller from around the corner. I hear you're selling tires now on Wolf Road too. Praise the Lord. It's about time. I live Fox Hill and Fire Trail. It's too far. That ain't all. They open Monday to Friday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. On Sunday and holiday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. My brother Sam, he's a hacker, and he could go right there and get fixed up. Call us at 326-EPIC. We ship also to the family island. It's that time again. It's time to have fun. Call up all your friends. Bring your family. Only one place to be. Where the food is nice Welcome back to Morning Blend here on Guardian Radio 96.9. Dwight Strollo, Duquesa Dean, coming to you live from Rawson Square. We are here for the Bahamas Goombay Summer Festival, getting all the details about what's going to be happening here beginning at 6 o'clock today. And uh, Nikki Reed Simmons is still with us, but we also have from the Ministry of Tourism, Derricka Moultrie and Marquise Darling. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for having us here. Thank you. Thank you. And we have Janaki Major. Hi. Hi. Who's a vendor yes, I'm a here vendor. today. All right, so we're going to get to all of you in just a bit. Nikki, this is a question before we get to Derek and Marquise. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about this off here, but this is a good question too. Why not have Gumbay all day on Friday? The cruise ships are here from early, and that brings a lot of people for a few hours. It would be good for them to experience our culture. Mm. We, we talked about this off to here. Talk about yes. yeah. We would love to do that. Mm -hmm. However, you know... It's a little difficult to organize that. You know, we have downtown merchants as well um, to sustain as mm -hmm. we would want to. I mean, we've but, I mean, talked I have a about it. I question about that because mm -hmm. even with the downtown merchants, right, it would be an opportunity for more, it would be like more people in the downtown area. You'd have more locals, you'd have more tourists, and so the opportunity for them to come into the stores, people who don't usually come downtown. So it, it would be a plus for the merchants to have more people on Bay Street. I agree with you wholeheartedly. Yeah. I do. A However, great day for specials. Do some things that you don't normally do, yes. right? However, you know, the planning stages, you have to think about road traffic diversions. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of that that causes some issues. Okay. Um, you know, we, we're going to look at it again. We really would want to do that because we agree. Yeah. Um, you know, as I would have said earlier, Gumbe originally was created for the summer months, which are our slower months mm -hmm. in terms of tourist activity. 
um, with cruise ships coming in. Um, and most of them usually leave around 6, 7 in the right. evening. So right. they only start to see a little bit of our right. show. Yeah. Right. But they do walk around around 12, 30, 1 o'clock when yeah. we do start setting up okay. and are able to yeah. taste a little bit of what we have to offer. Uh -huh. um, but that is something that we are going to look at revisiting to see well, how we can make a day of it and include our, our downtown merchants as yeah. well. I'm More. hoping next year that you are able to do that because yeah. I also believe that it would be a wonderful opportunity for more children to be exposed to our culture as well. Agreed. Personally, as a parent, by a certain time, I want, my, I want to be home with my kid. Yes. I don't want my kid out at 10 o'clock at night, not yeah. 6, 7, 8, right? Years yes. old. So if the festival was during the day, it's the summer, you can take a vacation day, you can bring your kid down or your children down. I mean, some call them kids because people get a little sensitive. <laughs> um, you can bring your children. They can see authentic behavior. We keep talking about our history dying. We keep talking about people not knowing, you know, what is authentically Bahamian and yes. exposing them to that would be a plus. And I think you'd get more teenagers. You know, so, yeah. yes, no, let's go for it for next year. You know, year. our cultural and authentic events team, we love what we do. We want to continue to do it. We would love to have it as an all-day event. Um, but, again, next we, year. We, 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 we're, we're going to revisit it. We, we obviously, you know, our executive team, we have to t talk about that and okay. see how we could sustain that. Okay. Are the hours different than the Family Islands? Some of them actually do start as early as 12, ah. and they go into midnight. Yeah. Yeah. Exumer, for one. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. They do that. Okay. Yeah. You got to get with it, Nassau, yeah, right? Get with it, Nassau. <laughs> all right, get Jerrica, with it. Marquise, let's talk to you all. Tell us about your role uh, um, and what, what we can expect from you all today. Well, my role, so food and drink is all me, me and Miss Marshall. Um, we liaise with not even just tourism, but even other private events. We're just supplying them with food vendors, food and drink vendors that's needed for the event. Mm -hmm. But... For our Gombe, we have a variety of food vendors. Um, we have Soul Stuff that has a variety of pastries, as in Guava Dove, and also Coconut Dove, um, and also Coconut Salad, which is for vegans. Um, we also have sushi, also Bahamian oh, wow. sushi. So it's not Bahamian just Bahamian sushi. What does that mean? Peas yes. and rice instead of the sushi <laughs> yes. rice? Yes, oh, we'll have wow. a twist. <laughs> But definitely we have a variety of food and drinks for everyone to try. But yeah. traditional food as traditional, well? Traditional, yes. Yeah. Down home, Bahamian cooking. <laughs> so how many vendors will we have out here today? Well, this week we have about 25, okay. including food trucks. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent. Mm -hmm. okay. excellent. And Dorica, what about you? Good morning. The Authentically Bahamian Craft Village at Gumbay Summer Festival is going to be full of excitement. We're going to be showcasing the Bahamian culture, and we will be creating an opportunity for persons to come on down to Gumbay Summer Festival. The artisans will be on display starting as early as 1 p.m., so it's giving a lot of persons, even if you're on your hour break for lunch, you want to come on down to um, Parliament and Bay Street, come and purchase and support the local entrepreneurs. We will be having persons there. Um, Ms. Janaki Major will be talking in a few minutes. But we have Nadia Butler, who will be selling interesting products such as sailboats, coconut cups. If you want a coconut cup for your husband and yourself, um, you can have it personalized. Welcome. Bay Summer is the place for you. Coconut all, cup? Coconut yeah. cup. So yes. like a cup made, like made, made out of coconut. Of, no, it's actually it's the like coconut that round, we like the coconut. Oh, okay. the, okay. the actual right. coconut. Oh. That's pretty cool. And it is fashioned into a cup. Mm -hmm. And so imagine the sustainable element of that. Yes. Uh. And then something to showcase even for our visitors to say that they had coconut in the Bahamas, mm -hmm. but they now have a coconut cup. Right. Oh, <laughs> man. I, I want one of those. Well, come yeah. on down. Okay. We have one there for you. And so we also have uh, Tiffany Seymour, who will be showcasing arts and craft, Bahamian jewelry. But one of the key factors of the authentically Bahamian craft village is our free and complimentary demonstrations. So if you're a Bahamian and you miss the opportunity to see Grammy and Auntie and Uncle sitting on the porch and plaiting straw, this is your time to learn how to plait straw. It's free, it's complimentary, it's a family activity, and it's ongoing throughout the festival. We start at 1, and we kind of wrap up at about 10 p.m., and so throughout the entire day from 1 to 10, persons can come with their kids and have the experience. But the interesting arm of that is our visitors get to see Bahamian culture through arts and craft and see know that the products are made in the Bahamas by Bahamians and of local raw materials. 
uh, so it was a water cooler experience. Mm. They purchased the item. When they return home, mm -hmm. um, Billy Bob then sees them in the conference room, and he says, where do you get that from? <laughs> and they then have the conversation about the coconut cup. Mm. And so we're just happy to showcase Bahamian culture. 1 to 10 p.m. Gumbe Summer this week and next week, Friday. Excellent. Where is that going to be? 1 We're going to be located, the cultural village is just at the intersection of Bay and Parliament Street. So just okay. where you see Columbian Emerald and you see Scotiabank, that is where we will be. So okay. don't miss it. Come and enjoy the other festivities, but come and shop. Purchase those items. Bring money for food, <laughs> but bring money for craft because there's that gift that you want to purchase. And that starts early, so yeah. you can come out early. Yes. I love the shirts that you're wearing. Yeah, Thank Marisic you, and, Bay. and Janaki will talk on Bay. about that. <laughs> Hey, Janaki Major, thank you for being here. Tell us about your, your, your company, your business. Well, my business is named Rad Tees, Graphics and Paraphernalia. Mm -hmm. I've been in business um, about three, four years now. I started during the pandemic. Um, I always wanted to offer items that are always different and unique. So that is one of the names, why the name came in there, Rad mm -hmm. Tees, Graphics, and Paraphernalia. I've actually been a part of the Gombe Summer Festival. This is my second year. Okay. And anywhere that you can basically find our country's um, rich heritage being shown, you're going to find me. Nice. So tell us about your products. What do you specialize in? I'm like really loving these earrings that, <laughs> that you have popping on here today. So authentic. Did you make Zarika's earrings as well? Yes. Yeah, so they're, they're what gorgeous. had happened was last year I was trying to figure out what kind of t-shirt that I can offer at the Gombe Festival. And when I saw the slogan back on Bay, I was like, hold up. Matter sec, but we back on Bay. And so that's how I got these shirts. And um, I guess when they saw it, they, I was able to capitalize on it because I was able to provide um, the T-shirts for the whole team last year. Mm. I also offer, these are the gumbe cups here. These can be personalized. Mm. And uh, my favorite is back, actually the jewelry. This is what you see in one of the earrings right here. Um, these jewelry are made with resin. And um, I'm able to also put the um, sand and the shells and different sets okay. inside of it. Um, this year, I'm proud to say that I'm offering a new um, collection. It's called the Jamila Ben Kuba collection. It's named after my daughter. It's okay. a kid's collection mm -hmm. because, you know, Gombe is a family event. So mm -hmm. I tried to pull in the kids along, not just selling jewelry, just for um, adults. Right. So you're going to have a booth out here. Yes. Where are you going to be exactly? Do you know? Um, mainly right in the front there by Scotia. Yeah. Okay. So where can we find you when you're not? At, at Gumbe? Online. Okay. Online. Give us all that yeah, information. So is it a website, social media? What? Yes, it's Facebook. Once you look at the name, Rad T's Graphics. And spell Graphics it for us so everyone can. Pardon? Spell it for us so everyone can know exactly. Okay, it's R A D mm -hmm. with a dash, mm -hmm. T E E Z. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Graphics and Paraphernalia. Okay. Right. Excellent. And that's also my Instagram. And I also have a WhatsApp catalog. All right. And you can have all your stuff. Out here All of my stuff is today. Out here. Right, awesome. Wonderful, wonderful. Good All right, we got some folks playing shy in the back there. Let's see. <laughs> All right, so let's talk to them. Uh, Kino Cartwright, and uh, and who do we have? Come a little closer. Good morning, Kino. Good morning. How are you, sir? Great to have you with us. And and and. Get, talk right into that mic for us. Perlissa Monroe. Nice to have you with us. All right, so tell us about what you are going to be offering out here today. Okay, um, we just basically we just basically featuring duff, um, guava duff, pineapple duff, apple cinnamon raisin, coconut, uh, tropical coconut salad. Oh. All right, so <laughs> how long have you been in this in this business doing this? Well, um, my friend actually started doing this for a very long time. Mm -hmm. I just could say very long. Yeah. But you're good. I've had your food before. Yeah, the you're food very, is good. very good. So the this is going to be good. something special for people to come out here and experience. Do you yes. know where you're going to be? Uh, we're going to be uh, right opposite Scotiabank. Okay. Yeah. What do you think is something everybody needs to try from you? From you. What, what do you think um, is your. Well, the coconut salad is something that is unique. Uh, we, it's actually a twist off of the Kong salad. Coconut salad. Thank yeah, you very we much. use uh, coconut jelly. Instead of conch, and 
you really don't know the difference. So it's, it's savory. It's not sweet. This is right. like Kong it, salad. It's like Kong salad. Wow. It's not hard coconut like it's, chips. It's no, like, it's the coconut it's jelly. jelly. Wow, yeah. that's, that's yeah. different. Yeah. Wow, okay. Marquise, you've had it before? Yeah. And you see her big smile. Hey, wait, you got to describe it. She, she describe just, it. She just lit up. Yeah, yeah delicious. I'm actually allergic to Kong, so it worked out for me. Oh, oh okay. okay. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Excellent, excellent. Okay, What's so what else can we expect? item, though. Yeah. Like, what, um, what? Guava, we're known for guava duff. Guava mm-hmm. duff. And okay. coconut duff. And coconut duff. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. Very wow, and where can people find you when you're not out here? Well, we're normally at the No Name Bar. The it's no a, name bar? It, it, the bar with no name. Okay. No name bar. Okay. It's right off the microroid. Okay. Yes. All right. Excellent stuff. And how long are you going to be out here today? Sorry? How long are you going to be out here today? What time are you going to start? I'm going to be out here until we sell out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Starting what time? Um, uh, we start at 5 o'clock. You start okay. at 5 and yes. you sell out. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. Bring plenty, plenty now. Coconut jelly. I think we got yeah. to come back to Quest. We got to definitely yeah. have coconut to come and try it. <laughs> coconut <laughs> salad. Some, some coconut salad. Coconut salad. Really coconut really salad. Okay, we got to try it. So for our other vendors, we have um, they try to we try to encourage them to do authentically Bahamian food. So we have boil up, which you know is an old time traditional food, mm-hmm. which is, consists of cabbage, pumpkin, corn, like all of those stuff that you find in the backyard. So we also try to bring authentic food for tourists, okay. for them to learn about our culture. Right. So a lot of persons enjoy it, especially the cruise ship. We try to catch them at 1 o'clock when wow. our vendors set up. And let me tell you, the lines are long, especially for our drinks as well. Mm-hmm. The Bahama Mama, last week I had a, <laughs> a couple. They didn't know exactly what was in it, but when they taste it, it's like, whew. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> but nobody's scared, right? They no, want to try. They it. wanted to yeah. try it, and mm-hmm. they actually, when I saw them leaving, they had bags, mm-hmm. so they were oh, leaving with bags wow. to carry. <laughs> Excellent. But it's definitely something that we enjoy to do, and we also encourage everyone—not mm-hmm. even just the locals, but tourists, mm-hmm. even the stopover visitors. We have a lot of persons coming from hotels that have called us and said, "Hey, I'm coming. I'm bringing guests with us okay. to try our food and our culture." Oh, all right, great. So what are you hearing today? Are people all hyped? Listen, there? Like, I've, my phone is blowing up now. Okay. What time is going to be? What time <laughs> are the food coming out? Where the park? Where we, <laughs> everything. Well, They're that is excited. a good question. It is. Yeah, you mentioned it. it. Is. Yeah. Nikki, I don't know if you can answer it. Where do you park? Wherever. Yeah. Wherever you find wherever a spot. Find I, I really don't want to say wherever, but it is wherever. <laughs> like legal, However, legal legally, legally yes. Don't get told. You know, a lot of people park along the wharf area. Um, other parts of Bay Street, because mm-hmm. Bay Street is really only closed at Charlotte Street up to this point, up to yeah. East Bay mm-hmm. after five. So people park along there through the side corners, mm-hmm. um, up on the hill okay. um, by the post office area. Uh-huh. Yeah. Or better yet, get dropped. Get a ride. That too. Yeah, that and get too. To pick you yes. up. I mean, yeah. make it all authentic and catch the bus. I know, right? <laughs> I don't know how you get home, but. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this is going to awesome. be great. I can't wait. Did, did Kino bring any samples? Uh, did, did, did he? Yeah. Oh, he did? Oh, I see you, okay. You, you, you have right. some uh, Kumbay cups. Yeah. Right, we got uh, some one of things. I love so it. So we were ready to go. So yeah. we're, uh, we're going to take a break, and then maybe maybe we'll sample some stuff when we get back. This is Boarding Black. Coming to you live in downtown Nassau. Everybody stick around. We're going to be right back. Stay with us here on Guardian Radio 96.9.
will find the right loan for all of you with competitive rates and extended terms to suit you. Whether it's for debt consolidation, your next vehicle or home purchase, sometimes we all need a little more. No matter the reason for the loan, we're here to help you find the solution. RBC. RBC has all the loans for all of you. Let's start with a conversation today. Think of automobile replacement parts, superior lubricants, and accessories and chemicals of all kinds. Still think Bay Street Garage Limited. For almost a century, we've been synonymous with wholesale and retail sales, free delivery to the boats for our family island customers, and for alternator and starter repair. Bay Street Garage Limited, BSG. Open 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. on weekdays and 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Saturdays. We're going to give you a check every week for a year. Percy Fenty Plan. Island game. Keep you winning. Percy Fenty Plan. Dream big. We will help you live it. Percy Fenty Plan. Island game. We got you. Percy Fenty Plan. From the friends you can trust. If winning is a must. Go play the game you know. Because your best chance is with us. The most trustworthy name is Percy's Island Game. So put 20 on your account and ride this easy train at the Guardian Media Group has your ticket to Paris. On your marks, get set, go! Join the Guardian Media Group, Star 106 Hits, Guardian Radio 96.9, and Hot 91 FM. And follow Team Bahamas from Paradise to Paris. Live comprehensive updates on Team Bahamas every day during the 2024 Summer Olympics. We are your ticket to Paris. Nassau Guardian Sports Editor Sheldon Longley will be trackside bringing you closest to our athletes in their quest for gold. From paradise to Paris, the 2024 Summer Olympics, live updates, brought to you by gold sponsors, the Bahamas Ministry of Tourism, Jimmy Wines and Spirits, distributors of refreshing Sands beer, silver sponsor, Executive Motors, and the bronze sponsors, Hertz Rent-A-Car, Nagico Insurance, Bay Street Garage, Nassau Motors, your Chevy and Honda dealers, and New Life Natural. Let the games begin. Stephen Gardner alongside 100 meter hurdler Devin Charlton. It's that time again. It's time to have fun. Call up all your friends. Bring your family. Only one place to be. Come go with me. Where the food is nice. Welcome back to Morning Blend on Guardian Radio 96.9. Dwight Strawn, along with Dequesta Dean. We are live in downtown Nassau. We're in Rawson Square, Rawson and Parliament Square. This is where Bahamas Goombe Summer Festival is going to kick off in just a few hours. We are very excited out here. We got samples. We're going to start sampling in a little bit. And Nikki Reed Simmons is still with us from Ministry of Tourism. And we've got some other guests with us as well. We've got Don Brown from More Play Entertainment. And we've got uh, Wayne Smith from SNS Business Services. Yes. Oh, welcome. Thank you for being here with us this morning. All right. Don, let's start with you. You're going to be providing the, the children's corner. Yes, sir. Because activities for everybody. Yes, here. sir. So tell us about that. How long have you been in business? Uh, we have been in business right before COVID okay. um, for almost four years now. Okay. So uh, started it out um, with a small train. Uh, with a ride for the kids. We, we like to entertain the kids, give them things that they can interact with, mm -hmm. uh, have fun with, you know, be able to be active. You know, kids like active stuff, and they like jumping around too. Mm -hmm. yeah. We wanted to present more things for little toddlers mm -hmm. that they can be able to, for the toddlers, that they, they can be able to, to go in and use. You know, all the teens basically have all the rides when they go to carnival, but yeah. the toddlers right. basically don't get those things. No. So the only get the, yes. to ride on shoulders. Yeah. Yes. That's about it. Yes. <laughs> but okay. Yes. I'm so, like the yeah. white. I was looking through the catalog, and I'm ready to. 
I, you sound I like you want to jump on it. I show up to my bathing suit <laughs> right now and jump on some of those uh, rides I see that you have yes, there. And slides. And slides, yes, ma'am. Slides, yes. Yes, ma'am. So we, we here are we at the Gumbe in the back of the in Parliament Square on the north side in the back of the police station is where okay. we have the kids' corner. Okay. So we'll be having all the rides, inflatables, the interactive games, concession stands, okay. whatever you need for the popcorn, cotton candy, um, snow cone machines. We have fun and ga- we have games. You can win prizes. So all of this, all of this is happening in the back mm-hmm. while Gombe is going on. You can bring your kids out. Let them enjoy. They will be, I trust me, they will have fun mm-hmm. with all the things. So you, you can check them in and go. Yeah, you can leave them. Well, we don't have, well, <laughs> oh. we're, we're, we're on that verge right. so of that's, thinking that's of that. What, uh-huh. So right now, okay. but it's like how it's positioned. We're, we're trying to get to that point right now. Mm-hmm. And this is our first time okay. actually in the, at, at Gombe taking over. So it's a, it's a very good experience and see how it is for the future right. for, this com- for the company. And so we actually do more, rent. we do rentals and we do events. So at any time, you can always check us out on Facebook at More Play Entertainment. And okay. you can always call us at 456-6922. And we give you a quote on anything you need. And we're always there okay. um, to service it. All right. So you focus mainly on kids. So if adults wanted something, well, you're not there. Things, you do? Okay. Too. Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about that. Well, we have more, we have games and interact that with adults where we can use. We know adults like sports games as well. Trivias. So we, we, we put more of that into that, and we have rides for adults as well mm-hmm. as you can join with your kids. Right. Yeah. So you, you want to have the parent child, you know, with that and on a ride or inflatable that they also can be able to participate and have their kids seeing that. Because right. so, that's, so. that's what I really wanted to hear from you that, you know, some of your current inventory yeah. is good for families. So you may have one of those large slides that the whole family could use for fun day. You know, holiday coming yes, up, ma'am. that sort of stuff. So it's, while you focus on kids, it's a whole family whole experience family, yes, as well. The whole family experience. Yeah. Excellent. So one more time, tell us how people can reach you. and uh, where So you can, can find reach us on Facebook or Instagram with More Play Entertainment. And you can also call us at 456-6922. Uh, we, are, we are always available. And so once you message us on Facebook or Instagram, we respond or cell phone, we get right with you, and we always have a team on standby and ready. Wonderful. Okay. Yes. Good awesome. stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. And you'll be out here from what time? We'll be out here by 3.30, but we start from 5. We'll okay. be out here okay. basically open at 5. Okay. Excellent. Yes. Excellent stuff. Don Brown, thank you very much. Thank you so much. All right. Wayne yeah, Smith. I think it's awesome, that consideration mm-hmm. for children and having uh, you know, an experience for them that's you know, they're coming up with their parents. They're going to be walking from booth to booth. Eventually, I mean, they're going to see some of the authentic Bahamian things, and eventually they're going to get bored. I and mean, yeah. if you have a kid, that's I'm bored. Yes. So it's really you don't cool. Want to hear that. Don't I know a, it. <laughs> <laughs> that there is a dedicated space here at Gombe where the kids could come in, and with their parents, they can have fun. They can do some of those interactive games. That was really yes. a thoughtful experience. Yes, yeah. yes. Um, you know, Gombe is for everyone. We did our best to uh, make sure it was a family affair. We wanted you to come out. Um, it's Friday. It's the, it's the beginning of a, a weekend. You know, parents want to unwind a bit, and you have to, you know, entertain your children as well. And this works out really well. You know, I don't have to worry about my son as much. I'm busy working, and he doesn't care. He's out here enjoying yeah. himself. Hmm. So that's good for me, too. Yeah. And Excellent when you get stuff, home, yeah. diet. Diet. <laughs> diet goes to That's right. That's right, because I'm in a coma for the rest of the day. <laughs> Uh, Um, But I also wanted to bring something up. Now, this area, I mean, every vendor is important, but everyone always wants a Gumbe shirt. I was complimenting you all on these earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, And we have our vendor supplier here with us. Um, We were not ready for the first week um, due to some things beyond our control. Mm -hmm. However, we're ready now. We're ready now. That's it. (laughs) I'm going to let Mr. Smith speak a little bit more as to what our patrons can expect. Yeah. Wayne Smith, great to have you with us. Good morning. These are some beautiful shirts. Me. They're gorgeous. How long thank have you, you been in this business? Tell us about SNS well, Business Gumbay Services. Started, I've been in this business of supplying uniforms, P uniforms, school shirts, school attire for the past 20 years. Okay. However, Gombe is something that I recently just got into. Okay. And it started in Grand Bahama, where the Ministry of Tourism called me one day and said, we need you to do something for the staff. Oh, wow. And it was 
an idea for the staff first. And then they asked me to just sell under their tent. I said, I'm not a buy and sell person, <laughs> but it's working out well. And awesome. then, of course, I met Nikki and Kelly, and they asked me to come to New Providence. It's just unfortunate last week, or the, t the first day of Gombe in New Providence was the last day of Gombe in Grand Bahama. So mm -hmm. it was like, no, no, it's too much to just come here for the first night. So here we are today, mm -hmm. on hand, in present, yeah. in living color. Yeah. We are here. With these beautiful shirts. Thank you so very much. So the public will be able to buy their well, own gumbay yes, shirts? Yes, you have okay. an arrangement of, say, some 22 different color mm -hmm. wow. shirts. An array of colors, both dry fit jerseys, dry fit jerseys, mm -hmm. v-neck for women, those who want to show their clavicle. <laughs> we have that also. We have the cotton shirts. We have the long sleeve uh, dry fit shirts. Everything you could imagine in the shirt design and color, nice. we will have out to Gombe this afternoon. Wow. Nice, nice. And what type of prices are we talking about? Oh, we're talking the cheapest price in town because when you're talking about a dry fit for $20, short sleeve oh, yeah. and a long sleeve oh, okay. for $25, right. yeah. nice. that is the cheapest in the history of the Bahamas. <laughs> and when you're talking about a cotton, like some people uh, prefer the cotton shirts. Mm. So we have the cotton shirts for $15. Okay. Okay. And because of, we're going to call it the Nikki and Kelly special. <laughs> uh -oh. Buy one and you get one at a discounted price. Okay. Buy two. Uh -oh. We will pack this up tonight for everyone's pleasure. <laughs> awesome. I mean, so you have to ask sure for that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So that's that pretty great. cool because the dry fit shirt is something like runners or walkers usually. Or the dry that's what you're wearing there, Nikki, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Wearing yeah. now. Very nice. So that's, that's wonderful. Like they can get those and if, those who travel to run and oh, represent the Bahamas and stuff like that. I was, it's, it's so interesting because before uh, the, the Summer Olympic Games, we had parents coming to us and all they were doing is wearing dry fit and the matching yeah. visors in, yeah. in Paris. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you were watching mm -hmm. the uh, finals of the Bahamas playing in Europe, there was a lady in the stands with a dry fit on oh. all the way in uh, wherever we were. Uh, around the world in Spain. Right. So the Bahamas, the important thing about Gombe, it's a seller for the country and for the festival that we yes. are doing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I have to commend Nikki again, and it's not stroking her. It's just a matter of the Bahamas selling itself mm -hmm. around the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you com combinate the Bahamas with Gombe, we come down here like Junkanoo. Every year in the summer, we know we'll be coming to the Bahamas for. Right. And Junkanoo, I mean, Gombe is a part of that festivity that we, are, we want to come to the Bahamas to enjoy. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Wow. Excellent. So you can have all the colors as well? All the colors. We have 22 different colors. 22. Wow. We have colors for men, women, unsure. We have <laughs> colors for everyone. Everyone. <laughs> We have all the colors, the array of colors. All right. Right? Okay. So I love colors it. is not a problem. I love it. Where are you going to be exactly, Joe? We will be right by this in the front. Right, right in front of Washington Square. Square. So okay. pretty much where we are right now. Yeah. Yes. All right. Yeah. Okay. So that's cool. good. So you and you just pass by. What time do you color. set? What time do you start? We're going to start at the same time, but we'll be other setting okay. up from around 3 o'clock okay. because we have a lot of colors to put okay. on the so table. So if mm. someone's passing by at 3 and they want to purchase? Oh, definitely. Awesome. Definitely. Okay. And if they can't get here today, where can they find? Oh, you SF? can find me at 646-7445. Wayne Smith, 646-7445. Okay. And we will be glad and happy to deliver it to you if okay. necessary. Or you could come and make an arrangement for a pickup. Okay. okay. Excellent. Stuff. Excellent stuff. And Thank we've you. got our shirts. Yeah. Thank you very Thank much, you sir. Very Appreciate much. it. Thank you. Yeah. You're getting the full Gombe experience. I tell you, this is amazing. I, I see this um, coconut duff. Um, I don't know. The castle. What, like, what, yeah, what are we going to do? We're doing, we are we doing this on the air so. or are we doing <laughs> on, on the break? Or, on the break, we'll you know, taste. Well, we're going to go to the news. And right. During that break, we will we'll take. We'll take a little sample and then, then we'll tell you about that when All we get about back. It. All right, so this is Morning Blood. We're having a great time here, getting ready. This is the pre-show for the Bahamas Gombe Summer Festival, which kicks off in just a matter of hours. You've got to be here later today, folks. We'll be back on Guardian Radio 96.9. Thank you.
Guardian Radio 96.9 FM, Nassau, Bahamas. The views and opinions of the hosts and guests are their own and do not necessarily reflect the position of the management and staff of Guardian Network. Wake up, it's a new day. Wake up, it's a new day. Good morning, and welcome to Morning Blend Business, a special edition of Morning Blend Business and Morning Blend coming to you live from uh, downtown Nassau, Rawson Square, Parliament Square, Gumbe Summer Festival, kicking off in just a few hours. Uh, today, we're getting a preview of it all. Once again, I'm Dwight Strong, along with Duquesa Dean. We've been having some duff. Mm -hmm. We had some coconut, coconut. pineapple, apple, apple raisin. Good apple raisin, cinnamon. What's, What's the verdict? What's the verdict? They're all good. They're all good. Yeah, they're all we need good. to heat them up a little bit. Moist. But nice very, very nice. nice. Very nice. Yeah. Which one is the favorite? My favorite, and this is going to be so weird, mm -hmm. was the pineapple. Yeah? Even though coconut is my thing, in this instance, I prefer the pineapple. Yeah? What okay. I'm going to tie between the coconut and the apple, mm. apple raisin. I like yeah. that one. Yeah. Nikki Reed Simmons for the Ministry of Tourism is with us, been with us all morning. And uh, the countdown is on. You got about just under six hours before it really gets swinging out here. And we, we are going to be ready. Yeah. We, as I said before, you know, we look forward to it, our team. Um, you know, I, I may not have said it yet, but I want to thank the Cultural and Authentics team in Ministry of Tourism. We work hard. Dwight, we work hard. <laughs> we really work hard. We work some hours, mm -hmm. um, you know. From 8 o'clock last night until about 2 a.m. this morning. Back out here at 6.30 this morning. And you'll not leave until 3.30 tomorrow morning. And you have multiple festivals running at That's the correct. same time, though. And, so that, and I, I, you know, we, we do what we can. We love um, showcasing the Bahamas. Um, we have great teams all over. Ex Exuma, headed by Charity and Brista McKenzie. Mm -hmm. Um, in Abaco, um, a great team headed by Kendi Ferguson. Um, we also have, I want to send a special shout out to Mr. Peter Douglas and Andres. Andres is also having their Gumbe tomorrow. Right. Now they've already had two. They had one in South Andres and one in Mangrove Key. Man. Well attended, good time. They started early. They started like 12 o'clock um, with all these games coconut peeling cont um, competitions. A lot of fun. A lot wow. of fun. Okay, oh, somebody called me and asked me, which one are you talking about? And I said, yeah, what in downtown Nassau? I'm like, this is downtown Nassau. So yeah, it's yeah. a lot going on. There's a lot going on. So I, I, as I started to say, I want to thank my team. Um, I have Kelly Thurston. I have Marquis Starling, Derricka Moultrie, Melanie Marshall, um, Janelle June, Andrew Bonamy. Um, that's the core team. Um, but we have others, Rondi Trico, she's a part of our team as well, Alexandra Christie, who deals with our entertainment, as she's an entertainer as well, she's a, a musician, yeah. um, and so, you know, she fits right, so in. Let's, she's let's right see if we can get some calls, and this is the business yeah. hour, so we'll get a little, yeah. a little more in-depth with what's happening mm -hmm. here. Um, and you can call in, 323-6232-54316. 
three two five four two five nine and tweet us, text us four two two four seven nine six. All right, so this is a division within the ministry that's putting yes, this on. The so this and authentic is not department. the Department of Culture. That's something else. But let's talk about that. Um, people often wonder who should be responsible for these things for exposing. Tourists and, lo- and locals, a lot of Bahamas have never been to a lot of these islands and seen what goes on there. But who should be responsible for that? Is it tourism? A good case can be made. <laughs> I mean, it is. I, I, right? I'm going to say tourism for sure. Um, but there are multiple departments that are intertwined. For instance, everything we do um, with events, we work along with communications. Um, we work with the family islands, which is um, the out island department, mm-hmm. um, and they create experiences. We have things like people to people, where we all work hand in hand together to make sure it's an authentic experience for our visitors. Yeah, right. That's yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, uh, for those who feel that um, that we should be doing more, um, how do you get involved if you want to be a part of all of this? Well, if they want to be, become involved, especially um, one of the key areas where uh, Bahamians can sign up would be under the People to People program. Mm. Um, you know, research has shown for years, our visitors come, yes, for sun, sand, and sea, but they're interested in us as a people. We are friendly people. Um, they want to hear more, understand more about the foods <laughs> that we eat. Um, we, and we have a very successful program with People to People, which won an award last year in England. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. so that is the first way they, they certainly could get involved. Yeah. Maybe I laughed just now when you said that because I'm remembering almost eight years ago when I had a baby shower for my daughter. My mom was in the People to People program and she showed up to the baby shower with like these tourists <laughs> that she had. She was hosting for People to People. And they had a fabulous time. An authentic ba- Bahamian uh, yeah, baby shower right, experience. And I'm like, this is so weird. Like, I was sitting there, and they had more fun than everyone else. And I'm like, this is so yeah. weird. That's, but they love it. The strangest we, word. Bahamians are extremely friendly. To- and, and our visitors love that about us. If you, you find like a lot come, they want to keep coming back. They, uh-huh. they start to invest. They, they love us. And I will say this about a lot of our family islands. Every time I go, you know, sometimes it's the visitor who's telling me something, and I'm like, where are you from? Wow. <laughs> you know? but, How many people came to the baby shower? How many we, of these tourists came? It was two. Oh, okay. There, there I was two you say she walked in with 20 people. No, no, no. <laughs> she was also two of them that she was um, responsible for during their stay, and they had a fabulous time. But, you know, we talked about this off air, too, the fact mm-hmm. that uh, tourists want to see. They come here for sun, sand, and see, yes. But the reputation of the people as yes. being one of the friendliest people has always been something that stood out. You yes. know, from I was a little girl, it was that Bahamian hospitality. Yes. So for people who want to participate by hosting people to people, like uh, what, what should they do? Well, they have to make contact with the Ministry of Tourism. Mm-hmm. Um, I believe that there are some programs that they have to also um, participate in, okay. like a Bahama host okay. program. Right. Once that is done, um, there's a, a vetting process involved. And from there, um, they're able to okay. get involved and start. And we tend to pick them based on certain things that are similar. So let's just say uh, it's a German family and this Bahamian couple speak German. Right. Um, that's a good Connection. match. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. All right. We're getting some interesting text messages. And you can text us, folks, 422-4796 or tweet us. At morning, then 969. Call in as well. I right, was asking, will you have Junkanoo today? There it's, is a Junkanoo rush out at the end. There is. You know, it's a Gumbay event, mm-hmm. but for Bahamians, we still have to have Junkanoo. Yeah, we do. Junkanoo. You so do. we do. At, at the end of every festival, and not just here, on all our islands, there's a Junkanoo okay. rush out. Right. But we are having a traditional Gumbay rush out. Right, today. and that's the thing I'm. Because we love Junkanoo. We love Junkanoo rush outs, but I yeah, want to see this Gumbay yes. rush out. What time is that going to be? Um, around 7.30, 8 o'clock. Okay. Right. The Junkanoo Rush Out? The, ru- oh, the, the Gumbay. 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 The Junkanoo Gumbay Rush Out would be probably be 11, just so. a little bit before midnight. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Awesome. This text here. Um, uh, what are you doing to get tourists to come and experience the festival? Are, you, are we busing them from hotels? So that's not the tourists that, who come on the ships. But, well, yeah. for our stayover visitors, mm-hmm. yes. We have programs in place. Um, <laughs> you know, amazingly, we, before we even started calling some of the hotels... They've been calling us, mm. um, when are you doing Gumbe? Uh, we, we are telling our visitors all about it. We've had a lot of interest from our hotels, mm-hmm. and so I want to thank 
um, Atlantis, Rio. I want to thank Bahama um, for, you know, we're partners. We yeah. all work right. together. Excellent. Right. Yeah. Which, again, is a testimony to how much people crave authentic Bahamian experiences yes, and is. the void that exists in our business. Like It's, it's a wonderful business opportunity yes, to be able to have some type of cultural experience ongoing for, um, for our visitors. Because if the hotels are calling and saying, hey, when is it yes. happening? Then you know that this is definitely a need yes. that, that can be filled. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And you know, the, the hotels do their part as it relates to trying to have experiences right. on property. Mm -hmm. um, but they also realize, like, the tourists want to see a little bit more. Right. right. And this is a safe environment. Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. What was the feedback you were getting from locals and tourists with the last Gumbe here a few weeks ago? So the first one was really good. Like, mm -hmm. I don't want to say surprisingly. The first week is always good. But we, we build our shows every week. Okay. You know, we can't start off with the best show <laughs> right. at the beginning. Right. Um, but for the first week, we were really crowded. Mm -hmm. People were totally into it. Can I tell you guys, it rained around, I think it was 1030. Mm -hmm. And no one left. They no. waited. Um, Funky D came on. Wow. Gino D ended. I mean... Everybody, they were dancing in the rain at one point. Yeah. We had, uh, we actually had a number of international journalists in town. Awesome. And one or two have already done their stories, and they spoke about the fact that they'd never seen anything like that, people dancing in the rain, mm -hmm. um, just really getting, uh, having a good time, That's getting a, cool. a full cultural, uh, an amazing experience. And there were a lot of people talking about it. I know people were yes. asking, are you going to Gumbay? Are you yes. going to Gumbay? Yes. And people asking me, what's the schedule? When is it oh, back? Every day, all day, <laughs> all hours. It's a, it's a lot. <laughs> so say that schedule from, from here and include all the islands. What is the schedule for Gumbe beginning today till the end next week? So for us here in Nassau, we start at 6 officially. But we do have people who start coming out around 3, 4 o'clock because some of our vendors are already here. And they are, you know, they offer food. So you can come that early. Mm -hmm. But the kickoff time is 6. We have a pre-show around 7.30. Main event starts at nine. Okay. Nobody wants to miss that main event. Right. Um, we're going to have a lot of, of, of great experiences for our visitors tonight. Um, and, you know, if you, if you can wake up tomorrow, you can head to Lower Bogue. <laughs> Catch a flight. Catch you, a flight. Maybe your private plane. Maybe. You're right. Maybe. Um, or, you know, Andres is a little quicker, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> you can head to uh, North Andres. Where they are going to have Gumbe there as well. Okay. Both, both are tomorrow. Both tomorrow. Both tomorrow. What okay. in? Yeah, <laughs> we 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 really both. we are trying to make sure everybody has an opportunity. If you can't get to one, yeah, there's yeah. another. Love it. Yes. Okay. Um, and Andres, you know, Andres is rich in culture. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. chick charty. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, but it's going to be a great experience there. Um, Mr. Douglas, I, as I would have mentioned, his team they do an excellent job, and I think. Andrews is going to be very good tomorrow night as well. Wow. And then next week. Next week. So we're back here again okay. on Friday. And then we also have Long Island. Uh, when is that? That's next week, Saturday. Okay. What part yes. of Long Island? It's going to be in the Deadman's Key Deadman's area. Key? Okay. That I believe. Be yes. Good. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. um, it's going to be a good show. You know Long Islanders, they know how to have a good time. Yeah. <laughs> they do. They they're really part, do. They've probably already started partying for that. I know, right? right? So that's five, is that right? Five more to go, including tonight. Today. Right. Yeah. And then we also have Cat Island. We are oh. we're determining the dates, um, but it's going to be in the month of August oh, okay. as well. Okay. Um, so we do, we do have Cat Island and San Salvador. Oh, okay. Yeah. So possibly seven. Yes. yes. All right. You're going to be very busy. <laughs> very busy. Yeah. Very busy. We're talking about the family islands, Nikki. I, I'm a little jealous. Because I hear you talking about the pineapple eating competition mm. and the coconut bark, peel, uh, peeling the bark of the coconut competition. Uh, uh -oh. What would it take to bring those sorts of fun activities here to Nassau? Or, or is it that Nassau is um, too bougie? <laughs> you, know, you have to ask her what is the specialty of Nassauvians, yeah, right? Yeah, well, yeah. You might not you want know, to say that on the air. We, we have done those games here. It, like it would not be fair to say that we don't, we haven't done them. Let's bring them. Um, don't you know Nassau? Nassau is a special crowd. We <laughs> we got to do something a little different. You know, um, yeah. those islands like Andrus. I haven't seen it on any other island. The coconut peeling okay. competition since Gombe has started this time. Andrus is doing it. Um, 
But we, we've had the pineapple eating contests and watermelon eating contests. We, we do games. We do have cultural games. But you find that there's more, um, let's say, participation, participation yeah. on the family <laughs> islands. <laughs> Not when you then can buy your outfit and put on your best. Clothes on you and your you kids. Gotta appeal to Nassau well, people yeah. on their level. What are they good at? Yeah, we and need to again, find something. So maybe some fun activity. Eh, boy, maybe a scavenger uh, hunt. Maybe, maybe. All maybe. right. So the the other big question is, if you are, if you're a vendor, if you're interested in being a vendor. Is it too late? If you, or if you, I mean, today might be too late, but what about next week? Yeah, we. so it depends on the type of vendor you would want to be. But mm -hmm. if it's from a culinary standpoint, you would have uh, had a little conversation with Marquis Starling and mm -hmm. Melanie Marshall. Mm -hmm. They can call the Ministry of Tourism, 302-2000, and ask for those two ladies. Mm -hmm. um, and there are certain requirements once they've been met mm -hmm. and we can't accommodate, you they will. certainly can be a part of it. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. Wow. Great. And awesome. same thing if I... Entertainer, I think I, I got something special. Went a while. To, no, I need to Just be a, a, a named somebody famous, right? <laughs> no, this is not this is not the stage for that. There are other opportunities to okay. launch your career. Gotcha. Well, you know, actually, you're gonna see something next week here. Mm -hmm. um, we had a song competition. Okay. Tourism is everyone's business, mm -hmm. and the winner is going to perform at next week's. Okay. okay. Final cool. Gombe here in Nassau. Yeah. You already have the winner, or is that yeah, yet to be um, determined? Yeah, I think you you all know them. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I'm at liberty to say. Not yet. But not I yet. will Let's tell everyone they have shaken. to come out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Come out so next see. week, yeah. that'll be something else. Another draw yes. for you to come. Yeah. So come both weekends. All right. I'm encouraging everyone to come both weekends. Both shows are going to be fantastic. Yeah. And it's free. And it's free. Yeah. You can't beat that. Yeah, you really can't. Come both weekends and still go to the, the yeah. Family Islands. Why Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Shout right. out to Prescott and team in Eleuthera. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Um, let's take a break. When we come back, we've got a whole lot more to talk about. And we'll talk more about the entertainment that we're expecting here tonight. This is a special edition of Morning Blend Business coming to you from downtown Nassau. Bahamas Gumbe Summer Festival is today here. you got to be here. We'll tell you more when we get back. Stay with us. Over 9 million visitors came to the Bahamas. This year, we plan on shattering that record. That's why tourism is everyone's business. Paradise is not only found in Nassau, but throughout our 16 island destination. No matter who you are or what you do, we all have a part to play in our tourism industry. This is our country. These are our islands. This is our home. That's why tourism is everyone's business. Ready to save? You can put $100 into the CFAL Savings Express Plan and make sure your money keeps growing. Earn interest on your savings while you're sleeping, eating, or standing in line at the bank. Ready to invest? Start by putting $1,000 into our mutual funds and earn interest there too. Because at CFAL, your interest is our interest. Visit CFAL.com to start now. CFAL. Growing wealth for future generations of Bahamians. It's a Scotia Plan Loan Summer. With Scotiabank, you can chase your summer vacation, swing into your home renovation, and slide on back to school with ease. Apply for your Scotia Plan loan and benefit from competitive rates, flexible loan terms, and no payments for up to two months. Take off your to do list this summer and apply for a Scotia Plan loan today. Calling all young champions, supportive sidekicks, and wise mentors. Are you ready to unleash your back-to-school superpowers? Fly into John Bull Business Center, gear up, and enjoy a super 20% off all school supplies and 10% off on teaching aids. And that's not all. With every purchase now through September 7th, enter to win a $3,000 shopping spree. Zoom in to John Bull Business Center today and gear up like a true super student. 
All those loans I had were so overwhelming. Fidelity's debt consolidation loan combined all my loan payments into one easy payment with a built-in savings plan that pays me unbeatable interest. It's time to make that move to Fidelity. Call 356-7764. Fidelity, we're good for you. Wishing for some extra cash this summer? Yeah. Enter ESSO Summer Wins Promotion. ESSO is giving you the chance to win three incredible cash prizes. $2,000, $2,500, and the grandest prize of them all, $5,000. To enter, simply fuel up with $25 or more, write your contact information on the back of your receipt, and you'll be eligible to win. Ten lucky customers will also have a chance to participate in convenience store sweepstakes. Promotion ends September 29, 2024. Terms and conditions apply. Like and follow Sol Petroleum on Facebook for more details. Earning zero interest on your savings at the bank? With as little as $100, you can start earning interest on your money while you're sleeping, eating, or standing in line at the bank with the CFAL Savings Express Plan. Ready to invest? Start by putting $1,000 into our mutual funds and earn interest there too. Because at CFAL, your interest is our interest. Visit CFAL.com to start now. CFAL, growing wealth for future generations of Bahamians. It's time to have fun. Call up all your friends. Bring your family. Be one place to be. Come go with me. Where the food is nice. We are back with Morning Blend, Morning Blend Business on Guardian Radio 96.9. Gumbay on Bay, indeed, Bombs Gumbay Summer Festival is back today. Your second chance if you're here in New Providence. You've got one more after this, but we're telling you what to expect today. Dwight Strong, along with Duquesa Dean, Nikki Reed seems to have been a kind of co host with us this morning oh, <laughs> about the Ministry of Tourism. <laughs> Um, but uh, we got one of the big sponsors uh, with us this morning yes. from Cable Bahamas and Live, Sharmila Sands. And can I take this opportunity? I want to thank all of our sponsors. Um, mm-hmm. We have a few, um, but a lot of this would not be possible without Alive. Um, and so they're here. They're partnering with us. They've been doing some of that um, island hopping. They did Bimini. Oh, they were at Exuma earlier. Um, you know, I got a call last night from Mr. Rory Major. He wants to do Cat Island and maybe Long Island next week. So they've yeah. assisted in making Good it stuff. possible as well. Show me the way have you been? Where did you get to go? Did you get to go anywhere? No. Um, what? Didn't. Talk right into that mic there. But they haven't okay. allowed you to go? No, no, not as yet. So good morning, Shame everyone. Well, <laughs> so you're going to be here today? Yes, I'm here today in um, Main Island. Um, currently, um, we're walking around and we are doing uh, or launching or uh, speaking to our newest product, Alive Fiber. Currently, um, Cable Bahamas is... Um, undergoing a very um, large infrastructure upgrade. Um, mm-hmm. We're starting in New Providence right now, offering persons um, our newest product, um, fiber. As you know, um, technology is advancing. And with the advancement of technology and with our juggernaut companies, Microsoft, Micronet, um, Samsung, um, you know, Apple of such, you know, they're bringing our products um, that requires us to keep up with what um, is being oh, offered yeah. worldwide. Mm-hmm. And so currently, Caribou Bahamas right now is um, um, upgrading its entire infrastructure um, across now, starting at the island of New Providence. It is a free initiative, of course. Just want to make sure that it's clear um, for persons who are already subscribed to the company. And so what we're doing right now is moving persons now off of our current um, you know, could we call it HSC um, services, really we're using the cabling um, system right. and we are pushing in the now fiber product you know it offers faster speeds um, persons are able to um, connect um, you know we have smart home smart TV smart everything we smart they smart everything. <laughs> you know <laughs> so we want to make Let's sure hope it rubs off on that us. we all stay yeah, smart right, and exactly. so with this um, um, initiative really um, we are now able to offer customers uh, the speed of one gig or one thousand to their homes mm-hmm. and so um, we are out in the Russell Square community or Russell Square um, setup whereas we're able to sign up our persons or customers who are um, either they're subscribed or they're new. 
we're able to offer them this product so that they are able to, you know, um, take on what is happening around the world. Um, persons have to understand we're going into a digital era. And within moving into a digital era, we must stay online or keep ourselves in par with what's happening around the world. And so we have um, partnered now without the Gombe Festival and also in our own selves, we're doing door to door, introducing this product so persons have clarity on what we have to offer and as well as have an understanding as to why. Because, you know, you don't want to throw it out there. We want to make sure all of us are able to yeah. understand in the sex savvy era what is happening so that we can give persons the opportunity to move over. So again, if you are an existing subscriber, it is a... Uh, it's, it's a it's, free initiative. It's free, okay. Yes. So um, again, we want to differentiate, not to share or scare for anyone, but we want to differentiate between our free and our new subscribers. So our current subscribers, what we're doing right now is um, we are offering, like I said, up to one gig in services. They are able to come out at it to Rawson Square and they're able to sign up so that we can um, schedule them so that we can have our techs at their availability go out and remove all standing equipments to the home, replacing them with the new um, service equipment. So it's basically moving them from the standard cable services and upgrading them to the now, you know, IPTV services where mm -hmm. you get your Hulus and your what's not, Prime TV, et cetera, introducing them to um, the more modern technology that we have to offer. What was the first thing you said you get your, did you say, did you say Hulu? Got your what? Google, your IPTV services, your <laughs> so you can Hulu, get Hulu. You have access to these platforms now. Okay. Say for example, because like, you know it's hard to get Hulu around here. <laughs> Not enough. So, we'll make sure that you okay. have Hulu before we leave. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So are you everywhere on your Providence now? We are encompass about seventy-five percent of New Providence. Moving mm -hmm. and speak on a daily basis. We have. Um, walked into our communities because you know some communities are gated so we require or there are requirements of us um in order to um, accomplish what we are doing and then there are other persons who require a little bit more when it comes to the infrastructural upgrades but we have encompassed above our 75 percent to date we have over 10,000 subscribers mm -hmm. on the alive fiber network as we speak and that was accomplishing over a year period of time. Yeah. And so we are pushing the mark to get to even uh, even higher notes by the time as our um, FY25 um, time okay. frame has been closed mm -hmm. um, to us as cable services. We got a ship coming in, yeah, or <laughs> so, there you but go. Even though the ship is excited, <laughs> the ship is yeah, excited. Yeah, That's excited right. For it's what about we're time. Doing here at Alive Fiber. So how do you know if you're in if if you're in my area? How would you how so, would you know? Um, what we have done, in, like for, that's a great question, what we have done is we have areas marked. So if you are self-called in and you say, oh, I'm, I'm living in Pinewood, we already have a mark to know that Pinewood at large is already completed. Mm -hmm. So we are able to offer you that service um, as you are, whether you're speaking face-to-face -face or over the phone. And even so, um, another thing that we want to put there, persons are, even have the ability to do this completely from the comfort of their home. Mm -hmm. There's no need for you to leave home. Like I said, we have concierge team who either come to you, or if you're savvy enough, it's completely um, doable over the phone, no okay. more than five, 10 minutes of your time. And then you set it up, whereas we come to you, and then we um, complete the upgrades for you. Mm -hmm. Is it is it something that will be required of all subscribers, or is this optional? So, uh, unfortunately, it is a mandated um, service upgrade. Again, what we want persons to understand is it is a move to ensure that you, as a subscriber, have the latest technology. Um, like I said, it's a 5G era. <laughs> Again, more excitement. <laughs> it's the 5G era. And so we want to make sure that everyone has access to the product. I mean, the ship even told it. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. The ship, ship can't believe it. The ship is getting ready to leave. It's very excited. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. That is it, too. Yeah, like, listen, get on board or you will get left in Nassau, Bahamas. I'm telling you. Okay? All right, so how can people get more information? As we so, wind up? persons are able to call into our um, residential contact center at 601-8992, or they can call me directly at 801-2732. 
and we can go ahead and get them set up. Also, we have um, persons out here at the festival where um, customers are able to meet them as we speak, and with just two IDs, mm -hmm. um, we are able to complete that process fairly quickly for them. While they're out here enjoying the festival, okay. we can actually offer that services okay. to them. Wonderful stuff. Very well, exciting. I heard Nikki talk about Wi-Fi services for participants at the uh, Gombe Festival. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so with our uh, partnership with Alive Fiber, um, we do have free Wi-Fi out here. So, you know, you can from, still have from access. From 6 to 10. From so 6, 6 to, to midnight. Okay. Yeah, so you can have access to everything you need. Take lots of photos. Upload them on Instagram, Facebook. What's the hashtag? Go to the hashtag you want people to Gombe on Bay. Gombe on Bay. Gombe on Gombe Bay. Love on it. Bay. Excellent stuff. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much, Jermila Sands with Cable Bahamas Live Fiber. Thank you, thank you. All right, we're going to take a break. we got a whole lot of entertainment out here tonight, and we're going to get a preview. Our best entertainment. I think this is his first time on the show. We're going to be talking with him. Uh, Johnny Cake, live here <laughs> in the square. This is Morning Blend, Morning Blend Business on Guardian Radio. Stay with us. We're back. Stay. It's time to have fun. Call up all your friends. Bring your family. Be one place to be. Come go with me. Where the food is nice. Earning zero interest on your savings at the bank? With as little as $100, you can start earning interest on your money while you're sleeping, eating, or standing in line at the bank with the Seafeld Savings Express Plan. Ready to invest? Start by putting $1,000 into our mutual funds and earn interest there too. Because at Seafeld, your interest is our interest. Visit Seafeld.com to start now. Seafeld. Growing well for future generations of Bahamians. Wishing for some extra cash this summer? Yeah! Enter SO Summer Wins Promotion. SO is giving you the chance to win three incredible cash prizes. $2,000, $2,500, and the grandest prize of them all, $5,000. To enter, simply fuel up with $25 or more, write your contact information on the back of your receipt, and you'll be eligible to win. Ten lucky customers will also have a chance to participate in convenience store sweepstakes. Promotion ends September 29th, 2024. Terms and conditions apply. Like and follow Saul Petroleum on Facebook for more details. It's time for your morning business report brought to you by CFAL. BPL COO Tony Seymour says that the power company's rates have been reduced and the new tariff structure is that for consumption up to 200 kilowatt hours, there's no charge except for the cost of fuel. Seymour speaking to the Office of the Prime Minister weekly press briefing yesterday, responding to Chairman of the FNM, Dwayne Sands, who recently said that BPL's rates have been going up this summer without any warning from the power company. Clarifying the new tariff structure with the uh, consumption between 0 and 200 kilowatt hours is in place, no charge. And 201 to 800 kilowatt hours is still just over 11 cents. Seymour says bills should have gone down by now, uh, but she is saying that because it is warmer um, and if you're not implementing energy saving tips and conservation methods then you might see an increase in your overall consumption. Western Air will begin flights to Fort Lauderdale from Grand Bahama in two weeks. The airline says the route marks a second connection to South Florida on the airline's itinerary. You can read more about that in today's Guardian business section. And the Securities Commission of the Bahamas warning that a company known as Loans by Phone is carrying out business in the Bahamas that should be registered under regulations or whose mode of operation is entirely illegal under the Financial and Corporate Service Providers Act 2020. The SCB saying in a statement that loans by phone 
which is also registered as JTS Investment Securities Limited, is not currently licensed by the Commission, but once was. It says that any registrable, licensable activity conducted in or from within the Bahamas by this entity and its agents or representatives constitutes a violation of the Act. It says that JTS Investment Securities Limited was formally licensed by the Commission under the Financial and Corporate Service Providers Act, the company engaged in business of money broking under the name Loans by Phone. But in December 2020, the Act came into effect and repealed the Financial and Corporate Service Providers Act and the Act gave all existing licensees under the repealed Act a six-month period to transition their license by submitting an application to be licensed under the Act. It says that SCB and JTS has not made the transition since the change in the law and therefore currently does not have a license to conduct financial services under the Act. In your Market Watch, recapping trading on the BISIX from Thursday. Your Market Movers. Bank of the Bahamas moving 27,088 shares, closing down 38 cents to 395. Commonwealth Brew moving 510, unchanged at $11.01. Commonwealth Bank moving 1,000, down 6 cents to $5.02. CIBC First Caribbean Bank moving 200, unchanged at 1433. Kalina Holdings moving 2,306, unchanged at 1120. Consolidated Water up 10 cents, closing at 544. And Emir Incorporated up 15 cents, closing at 891. The Basic Salt Share Index closing at 2,938.89, down 0.18. That's your Market Watch. And that is your Morning Business Report, brought to you by CFAL, growing wealth for future generations. This is Guardian Radio. Your station for up-to-the-minute news, intelligent, interactive, and engaging conversation. 96.9 FM. Welcome back to Morning Blend. Morning Blend Business here on Guardian Radio 96.9. Dwight Strong, hello to Quesadin. We are here. Um, our final few minutes of this great show today, Nikki Reed Simmons with us. And we've got some great company here. Get her a little taste of the music. He's, he's going to, I think he's going to perform. He's going to, right? Huh? You think? Uh, huh? Yeah, a little something. Maybe a cappella even. I don't know. Uh, yeah. All right. Johnny Cake, welcome. Great to have you with us. What's up, man? What's up? I'm happy. I'm very happy to be here. Uh, it's a little hard, but a little breeze coming, but, you know, we, we buy the water, so it's still feel good. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you, Definitely, God. definitely. All right, so this is the first time we've had it in the show. I don't know how that how, how that's possible, but, but anyway, finally, <laughs> good to have you. Uh-huh. Tell people about yourself, how you got into this, how you got into music. Well, what's up, everybody? My name is Johnny Cake. Uh, yes, Johnny Cake, like the Johnny Cake everybody knows and loves. Uh, I've started raking scrape in the year 2020 when things was a little tough. And it's crazy. That was the real hope for me to actually stay sane. You know yeah. what I mean? And I got an yeah. opportunity, actually, to be in the raking scrape field via a producer called Chad Young. He sent me over a beat and was like, yo, you ain't got nothing to do. I ain't got nothing to do. Try this out. Wow. <laughs> and I tried it, and that's why we got to get him, Ricky. All right. And it's been working pretty well. Yeah. 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 So s- tell the people who might not be familiar with you about your style of rake and scrape. And- well, I'm a very fun guy, right? Um, I'm, a, I'm a younger guy, so a lot of the things that I sing about and I listen to is what's happening now and today. Mm-hmm. I usually get a lot of my inspiration just hanging out with people, uh, just traveling the islands, just listening to people gossip yeah. and talk. You know what I mean? A lot of good 
conversation comes at the watering hole, I would say. And it was early on, I would say, you know. <laughs> but when we had the watering hole, there's a lot of good conversations. And I usually use that music because it's so real and authentically Bahamian. Yeah. You know, I don't really have to look for the content. It's all around. So yeah. it's very easy for me to create this music. Yeah, yeah. What's been the reaction from people? Amazing. Um, they, they like the energy that I have. They like the lyricism because I used to do rap before. I did rake and scrape. Mm -hmm. So it was all about lyricism and bars and how you put these songs together and double entendres and all of this. And I decided to encompass that in the rake and scrape. So it ain't just, you know, some watered down stuff all the way. It's just you could actually listen to some of the music and be like, oh, hey, Lord. I like this. Yeah, that, that was hot. Oh, oh, yeah, I like that. So mm -hmm. they like it. They like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So I've, I've been, were you somebody's work boyfriend? Huh? What? Were you somebody's <laughs> work <laughs> <laughs> See, okay. See, with that, I, we didn't, I didn't hear the question. <laughs> I heard the laughter. <laughs> was he somebody's work boyfriend? He's got work a big boyfriend. song. Uh, uh -huh. See, what, uh, now I've been in situations where I've been around and seen it happen. Oh, like okay. I told you, I get my inspiration from the forces around. Mm. So I've seen... <laughs> right? so it's I've not seen, about, it's it's not about you. Together. You weren't. You know, yeah. it, it wasn't about me. you. It ain't me. I'm oh, okay. with that story. <laughs> like, right, right, right. <laughs> you hear me? You hear me? I just heard someone and I see it and I, oh, so this one that's coming to pick up that one, but oh, oh that's uh, the one. Uh, you know? Interesting. I, I don't talk about the business. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what can we expect from you? The year's almost finished, but what, what, what's, what's the future look like for Johnny um, King? I've got more music coming out for the year. I've got new singles coming out. Um, I've got more performances coming up. Um, as a lot more is coming up. My new single coming out is called Old Head. Mm -hmm. um, you could. Guess what a song is about? It's up to you, <laughs> but oh, it's gonna oh, be boy. it's gonna be I a nice know. single. <laughs> but trust me, it's gonna be a <laughs> right. Exactly, that could go anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> so you figure out how you want to put that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's gonna be a good song. It's gonna be a good song. Um and um definitely check that one out. Also, I'm gonna be on the best of the best lineup reloaded okay. coming up as well. Wow. And tonight I'm gonna be on hey. stage live. Yep. Big, big up Gombe on baby out here. It's gonna mm -hmm. be amazing. The setup is already nice. Already, the stage is already out. So make sure you be out and watch on the gig live. What are you gonna be performing tonight? Um, tonight I'm gonna be doing Get Em Ricky. I'm gonna be doing Flick and Road. I'm gonna be doing Dead Drunk, and I'm gonna be doing my new single, Work Boyfriend. Okay. Oh yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So this is good. What time are you supposed to be on tonight? I'll be on 9:45. 9:45. All right. Great stuff. Yeah. So you're gonna you're gonna sing a little song for us, right? Yeah, sure. What do you want to do? You want to do it to that track, or you? Um, I'll do a little acapella piece. So, okay. Um, make it here. What's happening? When the music play, I'm the first one to dance. Sexy gal, come whine on me. Why am I rum in my hands? Rake and scrape so sweet. Don't think you understand. I go into mash up the place every time I go by the farm. I always get catch drinking till I loose and I wet. Nobody gonna watch me if I can't on by and I sweat. On your market set, drunk but I ain't missing a step. Man, if you ain't feel low, why then stay over there by yourself? When Rick and Scrib returns, I can dance, I can sing, I can wave my flag. When Rick and Scrib returns, I can drink all the rum, I can care about. When Rick and Scrib returns, I can dance, I can sing, I can wave my flag. When Rick and Scrib returns, I can drink all the rum, I can care about. Get him, Ricky! Go bay. You better be on that tonight. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, yeah, excellent, Aye. excellent, excellent. Aye. It's going to be great. Aye. It's going to be great. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. You can't beat that type of entertainment tonight. Oh, boy. Right. You know, Can you wait, imagine? Wait, wait, boyfriend, that's a, that's a really popular <laughs> song. Come out to hear that one. I keep hearing all the ladies talk, but they, I like that song. Mm -hmm. oh, I yeah. like that song. <laughs> <laughs> Telling their stories. Yeah. Such right. challenge, Johnny Cage. Yeah, that's challenge, amazing. That's pretty you know? cool, pretty cool. Yeah. And then you said something interesting, and a lot of the guests this morning said it. They all got started around 2020, 2021. Yeah. Uh -huh. The pandemic yeah. really inspired a lot of people yeah it really brought a lot of people together a lot of communication because everybody now had the time in this day-to-day -day life and all this hustle and bustle and everything it's hard to it's easy to miss people and right. miss communication whatever but yeah. at that point in time where everybody was in their creative space you had time to think you had yeah. time to reflect you had time to mm -hmm. understand some things you know what i mean and it's like we just connected everybody's yeah. like hey hey send a beat then let's do the song let's yeah. send yeah. over this lyrics let's go and it's like yeah that's pretty cool. cool. Pretty cool. All right. Okay. So we are winding down, Nikki. Um, yes. uh, tell us one more time. What's going to happen today? So, we uh, well, right before you do that, though, I, can you tell us a little bit about the competition? Yeah. So a part of the entertainment, um, you will find the following week, the last week, I had mentioned earlier the song competition. Um, 
many of you would know the band that won, the Essence Band. They mm. perform uh, Friday nights usually in the lounge at Bahama. Oh, yeah. Um, Excellent. And it's a great song. I'm not going to talk a lot about it, but they won, and we want everyone to come out next week as well to see them. But tonight is Johnny Cake. Mm -hmm. It's Bloody. It's Fan Sean. It's a good time tonight. Um, you know, we are going to continue to do our part, Ministry of Tourism, that is, to bring the culture to our people. Um, it is who we are. It's, it's a cultural explosion. When you think of, of Kumbe, I mean, no better way. It's tradition. Yeah. Um, but I want to also thank our executive team, our Deputy Prime Minister, our Director General, our Acting Permanent Secretary, all of this could not happen without their signatures. <laughs> well, right. And so I, I just want to thank them and Ministry of Tourism team at large. Yeah. All right. Thank you for having us out here. We're looking yes. forward to it. I think we got to, we, we have no other choice but to leave it with Johnny Cake to yeah. take us out. If he <laughs> sing us out, Johnny Cake, do question. Thank you for being thank here. You. I'll I see you next week. Time. Thank you for the stuff and all the. All the nice Gombe stuff. Hey, man. Looking forward to coming back tonight. Yeah. Um, everybody have a great weekend. I'll be back on Monday with more Morning Blend and Morning Blend business right here on Guardian Radio. Come out to the Bahamas Gombe Summer Festival tonight right here in downtown Nassau. Um, Johnny Cake, take it away. Some woman know they boyfriend got one or two sweetheart, but she ain't freaking out because she got a wake man. Some woman know they husband. Got one or two sweetheart, but she ain't freaking no, because she got a wake mind. Okay, first thing, 9 a.m., the wake boyfriend got a checklist, wait for you to come sign in, then ask if you had breakfast. She probably gone say no, even though her man cook her sausages, bacon, egg, and grits. Wake man made her forgot this. Lunchtime, he gone slide up, crack some joke inside her office, compliment about her, mm-hmm, say that look like the softness. Now it's four minutes to five. He say, come miss, let me hug this, then smell her sweet perfume she say you know that i love this so if she need a ride he right there <laughs> it's not about him but okay but, but anyway, thank you very much no problem, really appreciate no it no everybody have a great weekend stay tuned for all the clock with Aaron green next it's time to have fun call up all your friends bring your family and be one place to be Let's go. Where the food is nice, so nice, so nice.